Barry Denner 12 podcast. The inaugural episode of the Barry Denner 12 podcast. My name is David Kalesa, and here with me today is... Scotty. Uh, hello, I'm Scotty. Yes, that's who is with me today. <laughs> so, um, we, <laughs> we're starting this podcast, and... Um, it's very disorganised. It's very disor- It's completely disorganised. I don't know what we're doing. We have not. What are yet. we doing, Scotty? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> So, um, hopefully, yeah, we're very unorganized. I can see. So hopefully just... we'll find somewhere to, uh, put this up soon. And everyone just turned off their MP3 players. Ding. Everyone, everyone just threw their MP3 players out the window. They don't want to hear from them again. Into the river. Their MP3 players lied to them saying this was a good podcast and, and now they don't want to hear from them again. So, um, I guess we shouldn't talk about the podcast because I don't actually have anything to say about it. Other than it's, um, it's something we are now doing. We, yeah, we are now doing it. And the next portion of time with which we are talking will be the podcast that we are doing. Scotty, <laughs> you were, you recently, um, went to Sydney. I did. I did. What do you want to know about it? <laughs> Why did you go to Sydney, Scotty? I went to Sydney, David, to, to uh, spend some time with a uh, friend of mine. A friend. Um, <laughs> Fucking exciting. Did he have a did, did uh, he have a penis? <laughs> he was actually not a he. He was a she. And you know, I mean, oh. it, it was a sort of neutral ground. I mean, you know, she's from another country, and I've never been to Sydney, so we were both entirely fucking lost for two days. We we're just uh, ambling aimlessly around the city. It's good fun. Well, that's that's fun. I met um, an underworld figure while I was over there. Uh, was it the Master Chef guy? No, 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 no. It was the, the I was, judge. I was loitering out yes, front of okay. um, King's Cross train station, and uh, this any dingo? No, he was white. Close though. Um, and this, oh, this okay. sort of yeah. old guy with his sunglasses on and these, his black clothes. He starts boasting to me about how he he used to beat people up when he was younger. He used to do it for this famous uh, crime boss whose name I can't remember. I was actually kind of impressed with him because he looked Al Pacino. <laughs> Al- he was trying to sell me coffee. This is this is a good coffee. Yeah. So, uh, nice bongo, Scotty. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> How often are you going to do that? <laughs> uh, not too often, I promise. Hit the bongo button, Scotty. Yep. So. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Um, did, was he trying to threaten you or something? What? Well, he was, he was telling me how, um, Often when he's going out at night time in King's Cross, there's people who are like, see that old guy? I'm going to have him. I'm going to knock him over. And the bouncers will say to the, to, the, to, the, to the tough guys that are threatening them, they're like, oh, you want to bet? Apparently, he's still very fit. He was pointing at himself and saying, they didn't have steroids back when I was 17. And, I'm, and I says, he says, oh, it's just a lot of hard work. And I said, and carbohydrates. And he looks at me and says, and carbohydrates. <laughs> What the fuck are carbohydrates? No, I don't know. How old was he? We didn't have we didn't have carbohydrates when I was seventeen. We <laughs> just had beef. And apparently he lives in a seven million dollar house or some shit. I'm I'm wondering if it, this could all be true, but you know. I'll... How old is he? How, or he? how old did he look? He anyway. looked to be about sixty three and a half, roughly. Um, bordering on sixty four then. Uh no no no. I'd say sixty three and a half. Six to three, okay. Yep. Six months is a long time when you're that old. Oh. So, I've, I mean, I've been to another city. See, the thing is, <laughs> both you and I, we haven't been very many places, have we? No, I've I've been over east in our twice, lifetimes, and the rest of the time I've just been in WA. Yeah, I've been to another city and spent more than one day in it, maybe once. Hmm. Actually, actually, only once I've ever been to another state and another city. That was Seattle, and. Yeah, I had about twenty people. To, I had about twenty people to hang out with, and lots of things to look at because it was a big convention and stuff. Yeah, you were there for two or three days. Two two days, well, two whole days. Two yeah. two whole days. What the hell did you do? I mean, well, what's, first, in, the, what's in Sydney to do? I didn't even well, know there was thing things is, in Sydney. I got into Sydney and I had no idea where I was, and I'd fucked up on. Did the you train. look at the opera? Or? You've got to you've got to look at the 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 Sydney airport site because it's it's the they've put together a video to tell you how to get a ticket and how to get to King's Cross or whatever. And it's got yeah. this video of this sort of Don Draper looking guy with his suitcase and he's he's in his suit. He's he's dressed up for airport travel. Right, he's an executive or something. Oh, and I always dress up for airport travel. In this video, which is very cool music. 
He walks to the he walks to the ticket person, he gets his ticket, and he puts it into the the thing, and the door opens, and he walks through. He's on his train, and you know he looks like he knows what he's doing. And I'd watch this video. At least he's a twice. successful businessman. Yeah, and I thought that's going to be me when I get to Sydney. Um, I get there and I buy my ticket rather awkwardly from this woman behind glass. I couldn't get my hand under the glass to give her the money. It was very awkward. And and when I <laughs> When I get to Sorry. T- no, no. What was the, how big was the gap? It wasn't very big. I just sort of slide my fingers on it. Do then, you have troll hands? Wait is- for it. Wait for it. I'm trying to get through the turnstile, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. and I'm putting my ticket through the wrong slot. Because in, in Sydney, you put it in the front of the, the turnstile, and it comes out the top, and I'm putting it in the one that it comes out of like a fucking idiot. And this, this, <laughs> I, walk, I walk over to ask for help for the woman behind the glass, and she tells me I have to put it in the front, and I still misunderstand, so I go back. A fucking tourist who doesn't even speak English is next to me showing me how to do it, and I'm just fucking it up. And I had to meet in Sydney for half an hour. Was, That's very good, Scotty. It was fucking tragic. And then I, I, I had to... St- yeah, go on. No, no, I was just going to say I lost my ticket to show a while later. Oh, in the machine? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. <laughs> Did you put it in there and it gobbled it up? Well, and it, it spat it back? out like it was supposed to, but then at another station it didn't do that, so I don't know, maybe I'd... I don't know. You used it all up? What, what were you going to say? <sighs> um, I had a similar kind of transport error in Sydney, because I went to Sydney on my way to uh, PAX mm-hmm. in Seattle. Seattle in two thousand nine. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I went to Seattle. Hmm. You know, you know this. You were alive at the oh, time. I, I was there. <laughs> you yep. went in Seattle though. I was there when you left. Well, no, I wasn't. Yeah, true. Just talk about Seattle. So I went. To, I went to Sydney, and there's two different airports. You might not know because you didn't go international. <laughs> there's oh, an international one and a domestic one. I know there's two, but yeah, I didn't. Yeah. And I had to take a bus between the two, and so I, I got in the bus. And I didn't actually know where my luggage was at that time because they said, oh, yeah, we'll just send it to the other airport. <laughs> so I just kind of got in the bus and I was like, okay. And I had a $10 note and I tried to give it to the guy because that's all that's the money I had on me. Hmm. And the, the ticket was $5 or something. What the Five fuck? full dollars. And he said, oh, no, I can't take a $10 note. So why can't you take a ten dollar note? It's $5. <laughs> you have change. How many $5 notes do you have right there that you can give me? It, and so I had to, I had to split the ten dollar note. To, I, I didn't get it at all, and I was almost I almost missed the bus, which meant meant I would have missed the tri- the uh, plane as well. What about your luggage? Did you get it? Uh, yeah, it just happened. No, to be in I'm Perth still when waiting. Got here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Somehow look, I just got to Perth. Too. I mean, fucking, don't even get me started on transport in Sydney. It's just like the train to King's Cross cost me fifteen dollars, and a trip of that length in Perth would be. Fucking maybe a dollar fifty for me. I'm on concession. It's like Jesus, really? and a, a train ticket is not valid on a bus. So you got to buy another ticket, um, which was just see. F- fuck. I'm sure this is boring to all the American viewers. <laughs> but I'm going to talk about public transport in Australia. I'm fucking interested in public transport. It matters to me. <laughs> I'm the public. Yeah, well, it matters to me as well. I take it every single day. Um. Yep. We we complain a lot about transport. A lot of people complain about Transperth, but yeah, it's yeah. actually, it must be the best one in Australia, because I've seen other, <laughs> like, surveys and stuff, and apparently, apparently, per, like, people in Perth are the most satisfied with their public transport out yeah. of all the Australian cities. I don't see how that's possible, but well, if, I, when I, you think about it, Transperth isn't all that bad. <laughs> it's they're, it's they're not that good. evil. But Yeah, go on. Sorry, you went silent for a second. We can edit those gaps out okay. before I lose you. Um, I was just going to say, Perth is pretty good. My, my tickets are valid everywhere. The trains in Sydney, they're like a, they're like a really good idea. They're, they're actually double-decker, and they're really cool. But uh, the whole place is like some sort of dystopian future where something's gone horribly wrong, and you... it's And, yeah. and, the, and there's racists everywhere. <laughs> actually... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, no. Yes, there's racists everywhere. Did you yeah. go to Cronulla Beach? I didn't go to Cronulla, actually. I could have. I was on that line, but I, 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 did, I didn't go. No, I'm good. I spent yeah, most I of my time, when I, when I wasn't hanging out with my friend, uh, I was in my hostel room, safely tucked away. <laughs> Your hostage room. Well, you know, I mean, I'd heard King's Cross was a bit rough, and I looked at it, and it's sort of like Northbridge, really. I, mean, I guess I could have yeah. wa- walked around and had some fun, but I... No. Do it in sunlight hours, I guess. 
Yeah. Yeah, I was in the Sydney uh, airport, and there was a train to the airport. And I thought, wow, that's that's a novel idea. Maybe they should do that in Perth. Because <laughs> that's the one thing that Perth is lacking in public thought, transport. There's no way to get to the fucking airport. I thought we were going to do that. Well, they haven't done it yet. Those cocksuckers. Those bitches. Um, anyway. Sydney does have a monorail. Talking about pub- <laughs> a what? A monorail. A yeah. monorail. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, it's Are like there a, sheep on the monorail? I didn't actually get on the monorail. It was this sort of like short loop around the inner city. And I thought, fuck that. I can just walk. They had a monorail in Seattle. Well, we and, all, um, everybody <laughs> fucking knows Seattle's got a monorail. <laughs> it, was, it was in that episode of Frasier. <laughs> I was on that monorail, it's Scotty. famous I was for the on monorail. the same monorail that <laughs> Frasier was on. But it is my day. <laughs> it is my day. <laughs> The funny thing is, um, when I was I was trying to find my way to the Space Needle, and I was by myself because everyone else had left at that point, and I was just like, "Well, I'm in Seattle. Might as well go to the Space Needle because that's a thing." Can you go up? That it? people do. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That'd be pointless if you couldn't go up. <laughs> <laughs> There's shops up there. No, oh, no, you can't go up there. That's uh, off limits. <laughs> off limits. Off limits. No, I took the bus into like the downtown area. Yeah. And it took forever. Mm. And the bus was really seedy. It was terrible from the airport into the downtown area. Mm -hmm. And I got out of the bus station and I was in the streets and I just thought, holy shit, I I don't actually know where I am. (laughs) (laughs) And I didn't know which direction the monorail was in either. (laughs) I'd kind of looked on Google Maps, but I just didn't really know what direction I was. So I just started walking. (laughs) <laughs> I just started walking in a direction, and then I got stopped by some foreign guy who wanted to sell me, uh, no, he wanted donations for his uh, charity. And you told him to fuck off? And I was like, um, no, me, thank you. David, you were some foreign guy, because that's not your country. No, 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 he was foreign to America as oh. well. <laughs> okay, but so I think he was Swedish or something. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was weird. It was like two foreigners, and uh, and I was like, hey, I'm Australian. And he was like, hey, I, I'm Swedish. <laughs> he was some scammer. <laughs> he had a shirt that said Red Cross. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> I, I didn't want to get affiliated with his Nigerian bank schemes. <laughs> so I just kept walking, and it, somehow I ended up at the uh, start of the monorail. I wow. don't know how. I just walked randomly from the bus stop and ended up there, and then I had a nice day at the Sci-Fi Museum. I'm impressed. Well done. I did get a video of that. I should put it up on the uh, channel. You've never put any video Probably. up from the, uh, when you saw the Death Star. I know. The I, Death Star th- or? The, I saw the Death Star? What? The, I thought you saw the actual prop, the Death Star or some shit. Or some um, Star Wars thing. Oh. There might have been a Death Star. Oh, for f- No, I think there was. I think there was. There was oh, a big okay. Jupiter, and there was <laughs> weapons <clears throat> and stuff from mm-hmm. Star Trek and Star Wars. Oh, cool. I don't. I don't know if there's none of them. Star, none of them working. Wow. Uh, yeah, I think they're all out of commission. <laughs> commission. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that's where weapons go to die. I think we've thoroughly covered public transport. Uh, I did really enjoy my time in Sydney, though. I gotta say. Well, you should have. I, How much did it cost? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask well, you. That's, that. that's okay. Uh, to fly over um, there was under a little under four hundred. I can't remember quite how much oh, and man. uh i didn't spend okay. all that much in the hostel room I, was, I went for a cheap one i was the only australian in my hostel <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah well, that I, is cheap uh, it was a kind of a um foreigner place and i just went there because it was cheap and uh yeah no you don't need extravagances in your in your hostel room it had a television i guess there's, there's no visitors in the um in the rooms i was kind of annoyed by that i wanted to there's no visitors that's I, I don't get that. That's weird. I wanted to Why, show what's my, wrong with visitors. I wanted to show how dodgy my room was to my friend, you know. And uh, no, I wasn't allowed. Yeah, to. I mean, you weren't allowed to. <laughs> yeah, bit of a bit of a shit. <laughs> my, bit I, of a shit. I had a great window. You, did view. you take a shit in there? No. Hey, uh, the, the, the what view from, was the window the view? view? From my win- <laughs> the view from my window was a brick wall. <laughs> oh, how far away from the window was it? <laughs> About Could three you touch meters. it? I couldn't quite touch it because I didn't want to fall out. And die like some tall man with no sense of balance on a balcony. <clears throat> speaking of which, speaking um, of an which. Australian. Hang on, let me just bring up the article. <laughs> David's going to call it the V8... article. 
V8 fan killed in 8 metre plunge from high rise in Townsville while trying to spit. Can you imagine the noise he made on the way down? Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! My legs! V8! Oh, hold it! Innocent skylarking has turned to tragedy after a young V8 fan fell 8 metres to his death in South Townsville. Where's Townsville? Uh, Queensland. Ah, who knows. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, David, learn, learn a bit about your country, will you? I don't know where town's for. Zachary John Siler, 22, was visiting longtime friends from the Townsville 400. I guess that's a racing team. Yeah. <laughs> when he fell from the third... <laughs> I don't know if that's a racing team. When he <laughs> fell from the third to the first floor of the Riviera apartment, Apartments in Anthony Street. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A woman who was with him on the balcony reported that he made a comment about how far he could spit o- over the side, then he leant over and lost his balance, she said. <laughs> Read the quote it's, about it's the planking. A, it's a tragedy. He's, a, he's um, a very young boy, and he... Um, oh, no, he's older than me. Forget it. He was a tall man, well over six foot in height, so his centre of gravity was quite high, which contributed to his to the fall. Hmm. He didn't know where his centre of gravity was, how, how so old was he, he fell... 22. 22 years in which to accustomise yourself to your centre of gravity. And it's not like one day he put on stilts and wasn't used to where his centre of gravity was. He just had Yeah, to- if he was trying to spit off the balcony in stilts, then that would have been understandable. <laughs> Help! Oh! It's stupid, but it's stupid, but you would, you know, understand why it happened. And it's, I'm it's- 21. I'm very accustomed to my gravity. <laughs> and so he just falls off the balcony. Maybe he's gained a, gained a lot of weight. Um, it's, and this is the quote from the woman. Yeah, read the quote. I think. It's just so unfortunate for this young man because it wasn't like he was mucking around with his mates or bis- misbehaving, and he definitely was not planking. <laughs> so, so, um, so planking, you deserve to die, but wanting to see how far you can spit off a balcony is just tragic. yeah. He wasn't misbehaving. He wasn't mucking around or anything. He was just trying to spit off the balcony, and he definitely wasn't planking because if he was planking, he deserves to rot in hell. <laughs> Well done, I love you the, I love crazy, that, um, crazy woman. I love that attitude. Sorry. Okay, it's good. calm down. <laughs> I was just really impressed with the quote. Like, why, why? Why would you say that? I don't get that. I, I he definitely know. was not planking. I don't he was just know. doing something else equally as stupid. Well, not equally as stupid, but I mean, <laughs> no, no, actually, it's pretty stupid. <laughs> And he deserved... No, he didn't deserve to die. No, but, but nobody he, uh, deserves to die as such. Start being nice, David. <laughs> Be nice to people. Yeah. Speaking of being nice to people... Mm-hmm. Not really, but... Uh, no. Are you ever in a situation with old people? Like, older people? <laughs> Sorry, that's a, that's a wrong way to start a story. <laughs> people are you ever in a situation with, with older people mm-hmm. who aren't really in your age group and you don't really know that well? I guess... I guess, uh, Vegans. TAFE. Oh. When you're in TAFE, I guess. No, at TAFE, um, I'm the old guy. You're the old guy? Okay. Yeah. Well, well, at work, I'm the young guy. <laughs> I'm the, the, uh, youngin. <laughs> and today I was standing at the elevator, and it, it was taking about five minutes, and then this older woman came along. She's my manager or something. Hmm. One of my managers. Hmm. And, and as she came up, I said, oh, apparently there's elevators in these shafts. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen one yet. It was a very lame joke. <laughs> yeah, Just David. Very I don't, hack. I don't know. <laughs> very <you>. hack comedy. <laughs> but you know, if it, I don't know her that well, so I just kind of you know, <laughs> joke. And she goes, "Oh, that's very funny, David. <laughs> that's very funny." And that annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> she laughed at you. She joke when she was making fun of you. What? No, it's it's fine that she laughed, but it's when they kind of make a point of saying, "Oh, you're very funny." That, yeah. oh, that's very amusing. No, uh, don't. I always say thought that. "you're very funny" was kind of a pickup line. She wasn't. She wasn't trying to pick me up. I don't think. Are you sure? Was there a ring on her finger? Um, that's a good point. Don't don't rule out the idea of getting married to somebody older, David. You know, she she's quite older. Scotty, can you stop with the sound effects? <laughs> I, I, I have. That was, that was just a sheep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, but I mean, it happens at work all the time. I guess you being the old guy at TAFE, then it doesn't really occur with you. Well, that's the weird thing but at it, TAFE, you know. It's like, I was the old guy when I first went there. I was only 20. I was still the old guy. Can you, can you figure that out? Fuck. I, I was thinking about going to TAFE. I don't want to be an old man. 
Oh, well, no, don't worry about it. Game developer time is probably different. <clears throat> it probably is, actually, yeah. No, but, I mean, there was an earlier workplace that I was at, hmm. and the same thing happened. Like, I d- I'm not going to say it's old people who do this, but I feel uncomfortable making jokes around older people because they always say stuff like that. <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Just say, just laugh or, you know. Yeah. Don't, don't say to me, oh, you've got a radio voice, you do, because I don't. <laughs> Somebody, yeah, I about three different people in my one of my last jobs said I had a radio voice. I used to get that too, actually. I, the fuck knows why. I mean, I suppose it's good now that we're doing a radio show, but it, <laughs> I don't have a radio voice. You said it, You said the magic word. Radio show. Whoa! On the triple uh, uh, FM. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's that's me say? trying to uh, um, ad lib. I don't know, radio man. Station. I don't make jokes around old people. I mean, I, I, when I was working in an op shop a few years ago, I, I was working with people, and I don't. I think their combined age would have been about five hundred. You know, they were just really old. <laughs> How many people? Oh, I don't know. Not many. Uh, just really, Three of them. really old. <laughs> <laughs> One of them had this sort of. She looked like a I don't know a rhesus monkey or something. They were that old. Rhesus they just monkey. stopped looking human. But they were all very nice. Yeah, when work. they when they get kind of hair on their cheeks, I think they were kind. <laughs> I mean, of, they're like their cheekbones. I think they were nice to me because they felt that you know, with a young person around, maybe they'd, maybe they'd be remembered a bit longer past their demise or whatever. I don't know, some sort of. Yeah, yeah, you, you might bring some. Uh, <laughs> you might bring a spark of life into the op shop. Yeah, exactly. Which I did. I used to go around overpricing items. Like I, I think I bought five hundred dollars sticker on a on a stapler or something like that. <laughs> Uh, was it a good stapler? <laughs> well, it was an op shop, David. I mean, it was used goods. It was the best. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. I couldn't even... I was, was, it was, it was a, uh, I think, a Red Cross op shop, and I couldn't even figure out how to tie my apron on. Yeah. Pretty bad. I, I, did, a, I did a little bit at the... Uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, the, 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 the op shop in Perth. There's an op shop in Perth. <laughs> I can't remember. Who, I can't. Oxfam. That's the one. Oh, Oxfam. I don't know. Tell me about that. I did about two weeks there, volunteer work, and then I have got a job. <laughs> that was like before my first job, and I oh. I didn't know how to do anything, and it smelled like shit. It smelled like like terrible old wood, like not uh. good wood, old wood, <laughs> bad wood, in crappy place. incense. Somebody call yeah, a carpenter. Yeah. <laughs> There's some bad wood in this place. So I did two two weeks there, and then I got a job, and then I kind of didn't tell them hmm. what happened. I just I just left. Yeah, I don't know. Op shops. The second one fun. I worked up. I didn't know how fun. to do anything. That was my first retail job. And they were like, "Do you know how to run the cash register?" I was like, "No." Here do you know anyway. how to? <laughs> no, they didn't make me. Luckily, <laughs> do you know how to answer the phone? They didn't let me no. because I was work for the doll, and they didn't trust me. <laughs> like. The other people were volunteers, so for some reason they were allowed to handle the cash register. But me, I was like, nope. Well, yeah, you, you're a, you're a del- delinquent. Apparently, yeah. Oh, but I the second the, the second place I worked at was a lot cooler because they had the op shop on one half, and then they had like this sort of mini supermarket <laughs> on the other half of the building where people could buy food. Yeah, and um, you were allowed to take very small amounts when you needed lunch. And uh, one day I thought, oh well. I'm in the mood for some custard. <laughs> so I'm eating this tin of custard, this small tin of custard, and thinking, this is a bit stingy, and, and having a hard time eating it, and thinking, this tastes a bit weird. And then I look at the fucking side of it, and there's a baby on the front. It's like fucking baby custard. <laughs> oh, well, it's got all the nutrients you need for, you know, to grow your bones. <laughs> I'm wondering why it's so small and why it's <laughs> fucking baby food. This, this isn't a good meal for a, for a growing adult. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Shit like that just happens to me, I guess. It was a good place. Yeah, the the adventures of work experience. Well, you know, work for the doll is supposed to be like giving you work skills, but it totally isn't. The first place I ever did work for the doll at, I was supposed to be like admin, reception kind of thing. Um, (laughs) They never, almost never got me to do those jobs. They just treated me like a janitor. They just sent me around this place in Mosman Park to sweep and clean up and just be generally useless and the best thing about that place is it's like a sort of a theater arts place and so i was constantly getting these awful glances and stuff from these ballet students these you know high school girls and stuff who didn't trust me because i had a beard (laughs) 
So I was just getting treated like some sort of pervert, and I didn't even want to be there. For, you know, I just wanted to fucking, I don't know, upstairs answering the phone. You know, you wanted to be answering the phone. It was better than being treated like a fucking criminal. <laughs> One time I was there, I actually set up your alarm. dream. I turned up you early. Alar- I went upstairs um. to go to the office. Another day at the office. <laughs> and and <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Fucking alarm. You wave at the uh, receptionist. <laughs> People start looking at me like I'm knocking the place over or something, and it's like. No, no, no. I, I'm just the big the beardy dog. guy. Was <laughs> you remember that beard? I had. Like a hobo? Yes, <laughs> big, I do remember the beard. Were you wearing beard. the big Lebowski jacket when you. <coughs> no, <laughs> when you actually. Went when I went to that work for the I, I always used to wear a nice shirt. Oh, um, that's so I was, nice. I was trying to. I'm glad you put effort in. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> there was this guy at my bus stop this morning. Mm. No, wait, it was yesterday. Sorry. It was yesterday. Was he dressed like uh, you? So. Uh, no, I dress like a successful businessman. I dress oh. like Pete Campbell. Don Draper. Oh, what about Ken Crosby? Hell's bells, Trudy! Um, I, I would what? like most to dress like Roger Sterling. Anyway, continue. Um, yeah, Roger Sterling or Don Draper. I don't really like Pete Campbell's suits because they're, nah, they're, they're very blue. blue. Yeah, yeah, he, he gets pastel colours. I like Roger Sterling's vests. He has yeah. the vest under the suit. I he has, like he has the, yeah. That's how I would dress if I was on Mad Men. Anyway, Sometimes look- I like just having the vest and not the <laughs> whole jacket. Exactly. It was, it was white sleeves. He looks like a real professional. Sorry, I think I you need the white hair, though. It makes it seem a lot... You, it makes you look a lot more distinguished. We'll get old one day, David. Anyway, were you going to tell me about this guy at the bus stop? Or are you, you know? I can only hope. Um, bus stop. Yeah. Bus stop man. He catches the bus sometimes. Hmm. And he, he murmurs a bit to himself. I don't want to say he's like... You know, off his nut or something. <laughs> he's, he's not. I don't actually think he's menti- mentally disabled. Yeah, because he seems pretty normal most of the time. Sorry, I'm using terms like normal and mentally disabled. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he seems not mentally disabled. But randomly, this sorry, can you stop it? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Randomly, this car drives past, and I'm going to move away from the mic to say this because he just turns around at the car. The car didn't do anything wrong, as far as I know. But it drives past, and then he yells out to the car, You shady cunts! <laughs> as the car drives what? past. What kind of car was I it? I don't know. Uh, I didn't really pay that much attention to it, but it was just a normal car, as far as I know. <laughs> wow. You shady cunts. And he seems to... You shady cunts. And he yelled... There was a few. Uh, there was a time a few weeks ago when it was pissing down with rain. Mm. <clears throat> like the the roads were basically flooded, yeah. and we were all standing underneath the bus stop, and there were like four or five of us, and he was one of them. Mm. And he's wearing these like shorts and thongs and stuff. And cars are going past, and they're like splashing water, like kind of onto the footpath. And sometimes a car goes straight into it, and ah, oh, there's water everywhere. Ah, oh, we're being splashed. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh no. And he yelled at every single car that day. <laughs> He's like, ah, you fuckers. <laughs> How can you find that He's much energy? He's just yelling you? profanities. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I, I do get pretty pissed off at the world and I want to shout at people, but I mean, I can never be bothered. But he's just swearing constantly. There's cars going past, even if they like avoid the water, like they Wait. slow down. They go into the middle of the road when they can and to avoid splashing us. But he still yells <laughs> at them. Um, uh. And then, and, and then. The same day, yesterday, mm. I went to go get Subway from the Subway place down the road. Oh, Subway. <laughs> Subway's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, it is. Okay. I, yeah. It's probably my favourite fast food My new favourite is the uh, meatballs. I had them in Sydney. And, uh, meatballs? The meatballs and the cheese. I recently... Uh, yeah. I haven't actually tried it. I recently <laughs> started getting the chicken schnitzel, <laughs> as opposed to the chicken... The roast chicken. <laughs> the chicken schnitzel is a slightly more expensive, uh. but... So much better. You want the meatballs and the cheese because that's got like the sauce, the bright sauce that looks like it'll stain your clothes forever. Is that why I want it? Does it well, taste alright? You don't actually spill it. Well, I see, I had mine without any well, added, added stuff. I just said, no, don't fancy it up. I just want meat, cheese, sauce. Meat, cheese. Taking it all to the next level. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I got that. Yeah, and then when I came out of the subway restaurant, 
the same guy was standing there, kind of just wandering around the side of the Subway restaurant. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't seem to have a purpose to it. Until he took his dick out and started pissing on the side of the Subway <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> What? Just murmuring to himself. I think I think he was actually saying something bad about Subway. As far oh, as, no, no, as, far as I can hear, <laughs> you're a fucking. S- I don't know. I'll ever- give you sandwich artist. <laughs> I've never pissed on the Subway. I don't know before. what he was saying. But- Have you ever pissed on the Subway? I pissed in the Subway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was in the Subway <laughs> car and. Uh- <laughs> no, there was, uh, the only- no, I've never pissed in public. There was that time I was really drunk with Chad and this other guy in Subiaco. Yeah, and we couldn't. We didn't really have a way home, and none of the pubs are open, so we. And we needed to piss, so we started sort of walking around one of the main streets, and we sort of each selected a building and um, pissed on the building. So I actually I got this Marked building where the window was reachable by pissing, and I got got my piss up did, on the window. Did you reach was, it? Yeah, and I was oh. singing Roy Orbison while doing it. That's the most impressive part. I was like, oh, yeah. it's very good. Uh, which song? I think it might have been. Um, what was I listening to at that time? Might have been I drove all night. <laughs> I'm guessing it was. Yeah, well, I was, I was pretty Just a guess. One. Guitar. <laughs> what? <laughs> that wasn't me. Backbeat. <laughs> Fuck. Backbeat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just playing with the garage band sounds again. Ooh. I know you're playing with the garage band sounds. <laughs> yeah! One, rock and roll. Two. <laughs> Fuck it, sorry. <laughs> one, rock and roll. Two. Hey! Yeah. Come on! <laughs> I don't know, man. Um... um do you want to keep talking about public transport? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> well, no, but I've, I've got a news what? article we have to uh, discuss, Scotty. Oh, okay. Well, give us the news then, David. Joining us... No- Hang on, it's- wait a minute. I've got to kill you in. You just uh, just uh, sit there and be uh, be cool for a minute. Uh, no. be, yeah, be the uh, announcer. Joining us now with the traffic report and public transport is David. There you go. Hi, people. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Dude, that, I give you that hello, professional people. intro and you're like, hello, people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, lay it it's on not me. okay to discriminate. Stephanie Payne speaks out over taunts on public transport. <laughs> Sorry. We I talked about this, this a little bit, but uh, I know you know how this ends. <laughs> um, Stephanie Payne is a, is a woman and she's taking buses and trains and stuff. Mm. Uh a self-confessed super obese commuter has vowed to buy two train tickets to silence her critics who abuse her for taking up multiple seats. <laughs> uh, I don't know how the trains work in... What city is this? <laughs> it doesn't even say. I don't know how the trains work in wherever she is. They don't want, to, they don't want not, us to know where it, she is. It's not Perth, but... uh, Thank fuck. When you buy a train ticket, it doesn't entitle you to a seat on the train. Yeah. It's, it entitles it, you to be on the train. It's not, not like a seat on a, on a plane. You don't look at the ticket and say, oh, 3F, I got a window seat. And then you get on the you get on the train and you sit down and if there's somebody there, you're like, oh, excuse me, <laughs> this seems to be a mistake. <laughs> if you see on this ticket, yeah, I am yeah. on 3F, you're yes. on 3 <clears throat> D. Or, or like on a plane <laughs> where, you know, picky musicians will typically, typically buy a seat for their instrument so it doesn't have to go down in the, sh- in the, in the cargo area. But trains yeah. and buses are technically not like that. If I walk into a bus or a train with a t- two tickets, two tickets. It's, you can't lie down on the seat. It's, it's like passage for two people, but where those two people go is not important. One can be standing where we're sitting. And if you've got an empty seat next to you, you can't just say, sorry, you can't sit there, I've got two tickets. Furthermore, yeah, you, this yeah, woman is opening her up, opening herself up to the obvious joke of "you are so fucking fat, you need two seats on a train." I mean, she couldn't see that coming. I'd be the first joke I'd make if I saw her clutching her, her hard-earned tickets. Well, I wouldn't, I mean, actually, honestly, I wouldn't say it to her. <laughs> 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 no, hey, I see you there clutching your hard-earned tickets, <laughs> you fatty. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder the trains having such a hard time moving. <laughs> See, I yeah, the only reason the train tickets are going, the prices are going up, is because you're using all the fuel. <laughs> you're hoarding. <laughs> God, weighing down the train. No, um, um looking yeah. at the picture, she doesn't look that Fat. obese, actually. No, like, to well, be honest, I don't think she would take up two seats. <clears throat> she's 180 kilograms. I didn't think that was like morbidly. Oh, uh, that's pretty. Big. I mean, but, it's big. It's big. You don't want to be that big, but I mean, it's not like you know, newsworthy. I don't think is it. 
Despite shedding 60 kilograms in the past year. Fuck. Wow. And she still describes herself as mor- morbidly obese. Oh, super obese. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to put words in her mouth. <laughs> so no you describe for, yourself no as morbidly for, obese. There's no room for words in her mouth. With all that food. <laughs> all those Twinkies. We don't have Twinkies, do we? Australia has no Twinkie. Actually, Nancy bought me a Twinkie once. Where from? Uh, she got it from some shop that sells Americana or some crap, I think. Maybe the same I assume she- if there's Twinkie if there's Twinkies in this city, I would have seen them by now. <laughs> <laughs> you've got, you've just, got your, just because you've got your finger on the pulse of the eating of Perth, haven't you? you know, like, nom 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 <laughs> nom. The nom. eating habits. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. The wow. thirty one year old mum of four said she has been called names including fat pig and fat slut at times <laughs> in front of her children. <laughs> That's now fat pig. They're not or- very creative. All right. As far as fat pig goes, there's a sort of a connotation with fat pig. You know, fat person eats a lot of food. Pigs eat food. There's the link there. But yeah. fat slut. Um, there's no quantifiable evidence. Oh, she has four kids. Oh, well, obviously she can't keep her legs. Maybe she had the four kids with her and she's trying to herd them around. And somebody goes, you fat slut, <laughs> stop having so much sex. <laughs> Fuck. Or just, something. I, just, I'm just guessing. Who are these people making these comments about this woman? She's making, she's gone doing her business, and are they the same people that used to call me Jesus in Perth? Um, when I had long hair, hey Jesus, possibly, yeah, Jesus. Like, I've had my hair cut since then, but I walk around and sometimes I get this like in Fremantle a few weeks ago, <clears throat> yeah, cool, or yeah, man, or some shit. I can't remember what he said now. I think it was yeah, man. I was like. <laughs> Fairly certain it was aimed See, at me. I looked around. There was nobody else there. I was like, hmm. when my hair was super long, I got pirate jokes at school because I had a bandana on. <laughs> you can see that in our earliest Barry well, Denham video. And you're a fucking pirate. Yeah, I, I, I do have scurvy actually. No, um, hmm. but the only ever, I, I think I only ever got one insult really, and that was when I was walking to your house from school from the bus. Hmm. This car of about four people four yeah. of these hoons these yeah. hooligans yeah. drove past and one of them shouted get a fucking haircut well I used to get that and that could have been the same car it was like four <laughs> guys really. yeah you were standing outside your house they drove past and said get a fucking haircut to you and then further down the road well, I, used to I get was it. there and they swore at me too I used to get it quite a lot put it that way um, no I didn't get it that often even though my hair was well it looked longer than yours. It, it wasn't, but I think that's <laughs> our, our hair just grew differently, I think. Oh, my hair was incredible. It was just fucking defied all conventions of I think mine, re- mine reached further down, but yeah. yours was like kind of <clears throat> curlier, I guess. Um, <laughs> where was that? <laughs> Having a hair discussion there. <laughs> it happens to me all the time, and up to this point, I've put up with it. Pain told MX. What's MX. M X okay. <laughs> when people tease me, it makes me feel isolated, like I don't have the right to catch a train. <laughs> you can't catch a train; it's going too fast. <laughs> Here it comes! I'm gonna get my lesson. <laughs> you, you know, I knew somebody. Oh, just going off on another. <laughs> it's about public transport as well. Okay. Um, it was during my times as a bungee net moderator. Ooh, going back a bit. It's a it's a Perth story though. The other moderator who was from Perth, his name was Rajinko. Yeah, Rajinko, is he still around? He can listen to this podcast. Uh, he's made he made a few posts a few years ago, but he was kind of being trolly, so they oh, right. so he didn't hang around very long. Oh, so he's dead now? No, I don't know if he's dead. I never actually met him, even though oh. I was. He was like a living. living we in were Florida. both moderating the same website from the same very isolated city for a few years, and, and I never in, actually like, met him. Florida, we could have met him. Yeah, and he went past Shenton every single day on the bus. Weird. He must have looked anyway, there and thought, I can anyway. meet David. Oh, sorry. Yeah, tell your story. I'm pretty sure this is <clears throat> him, or it might have been his friend, but one of them was waiting for the bus, <laughs> and it was late. It was really late. So sometimes when the bus gets really late, the hmm. bus will just kind of go past, and then there's another one right behind it of the same number. Yeah, yeah. Because the first one wants to fucking, you know, catch up to its time schedule yeah yeah so the first and i think it was in the city so that all the buses were kind of moving very slowly and they were all in the very left lane hmm. 
where they stopped to, you know, pick people up. And the bus was going very slowly past. Well, not very slowly, kind of 20, 30. It was going past. It didn't stop. So this person, I can't remember whether it was Rujinko or his friend, kicked the bus as it went past. <laughs> See, I don't know what gets into your mind to make you want to kick a bus. What? But the bus is going past. He kicks it, dislocates his knee. Because <laughs> that's what happens when you kick a moving vehicle. <laughs> and that's the end of that story. <laughs> I remember laughing about... No, it wasn't Rajinko. It was a friend, I remember. But... In the case of man versus bus, we, we the people find knee dislocated. Oh, man. All right. Well, uh, yeah. How do you how do you get to the situation where you think the bus is going past? I want to kick it because uh, that will. <clears throat> I've got a, uh, my fury. I've got a news for you story here for you. Let's see if I press the right button. Yeah. News story. News story. Scotty with more news. Yeah. Go on. Anyway, sorry, I'm gonna let that jingle finish. In uh, Sydney, the lonely life of Natalie Jean Wood, the woman Sydney forgot. Hmm. Oh, I yeah. not heard of this one. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> no, you I have heard, heard of this it. one, but I'm going to feign. <laughs> I'm going to feign ignorance. They're talking about the uh, this room shaft of light. Blah blah blah. They're getting poetic. It's very boring. Nothing has changed in the yep. room since Natalie Jean Wood, then age seventy nine, walked out of it sometime in two thousand and three to go upstairs to her bedroom, where she collapsed and died in the middle of a heated game of Twister. This is how police I don't saw think it on she Tuesday. Was playing when Twist- they- Sorry? Was she playing Twister by herself? <laughs> Can you? Red. No, I don't think it's a single player game. <laughs> Left foot green. Ah! <laughs> I think the point of Twister is that you get twisted up with other people. It's Twister. Like... It's like playing Monopoly by yourself. Okay, I've never played I Twister. I am already the Monopoly. Is, is Twister sort I... of an ambiguous way to get sex out of your sort of casual friends, but disguised as a family game or what? Um, yes. <laughs> if you're a teenager. If, oh, if you're a bunch of horny teenagers and you don't want to play Twister, that's another way of saying, <laughs> I want to feel your body. <laughs> Unfortunately, I never got to play Twister. As a stunned community wondered how a woman could not be missed for so long in a vibrant city of more than 4.5 million people, police, who were alerted by a sister-in-law burning to death out front of the building, are investigating what went wrong. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, so I, be- um, I believe the details of the story are that... The old woman had a um, spat with her brother and his wife. Yeah. I believe that's how it went. <laughs> so they didn't talk for eight years. <laughs> hmm. Eight I'm years, gonna, I guess. They I've didn't. got a real grudge going on with David right now. I'm not going to talk to him for about eight years. Yeah, same city, uh, family, uh, eight years. That, that'll be good. Wow. And so recently there was something happening in the family and she decided... I might contact uh, old Woods her face. What's her name? <laughs> Woods her face. Natalie. Woods her face. Natalie Woods her face. <clears throat> and um, just check up because something's happened in the family. I think uh, Grandpa exploded. So we might as well just check up with her uh, just to see if she's not rotting. And yeah. oh, God forbid she's rotting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, she's been sitting there for eight years. Just rusting away. How does that- rusting. <laughs> How does that happen, though? <laughs> Don't. Well, it. I mean, look, think of it this way, David. We're from a big family. We're a big family. Yes. We see each other at least weekly. You know. I mean, uh, <clears throat> if I was dead, it wouldn't take long for somebody to find out. Not everybody has big families like us. Well, you do live in a house with three other people. Four, five, three, four. Ah, oh, well, people. you know, say, say Nancy moves out, Paul visits Japan, Mum and Dad go on holiday, and I was dead. But, you know, people would come here after a few days and visit, because they do that. Well, I think you're, if you were offline for three days... No, I was offline for three days. days. I got an email from a no, friend but I saying... Knew you, I knew you were in a different <laughs> A friend city. emailed me on the second day that I was gone to say, it's weird not having you on MSN. <laughs> 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 Which I thought was very sweet of her, actually. You'll be missed. It was the first thing I did when I got back yeah. to say hello to her on, on MSN. I actually feel like a bit of an antiquated holdout by even using my MSN. Really? I use MSN. We are, Not but, often, actually. Well, yeah, but I mean, we're kind of weird. <laughs> we are weird, I guess. Most people I use know, I like. I, I like using MSN. Yeah. Even though it's not called MSN anymore. Isn't it? I still call it MSN. 
So anyway, this lady. Yeah, Natalie would. I would just like to say I'm very sorry about this. This old woman <laughs> dying. Yeah, we're not, but, we're, we're not making fun of her. She was lying there. Was she in an apartment or in a, like a house? Does it say? <laughs> it's like a little narrow-looking house apartment. There we go. Woman found dead in okay. her apartment. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not notice that? Wouldn't there be cobwebs on the door? Well, no, here's the thing. Her mail had already been redirected because she had dementia, so they wanted somebody else to collect it for her. And the neighbours just... So she had dementia, so they just kind of... The neighbours just assumed that she was moved somewhere else to live with family. So that's uh, why nobody checked yeah. <laughs> and she was still getting Centrelink payments that whole time for being for being old. See, the thing is, if you get Centrelink payments for being old, they don't check on you because you're not going to get younger. <laughs> Are you still getting older? Although, if you do have a uncurable disability, they do check to see if you're still disabled later on. Yeah, that's that's one thing. I don't know why thing. they just keep doing that. They will they will what? recheck things up to a absurd lengths, Centrelink for for no fucking reason. I think they just makes them feel good. Well, it's a very unfortunate story anyway. Imagine the policeman who came in and they, <laughs> they break open the door and do they find like a a fleshy corpse or just a bag of bones or <laughs> what what are they Just a bag of bones just, just, Nothing but dry is it like, bones. <laughs> is it like Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru on the floor or what? Well I guess so. She would have well, she would have been smoking. reduced to sort of <laughs> she's not, she would have been reduced to like some sort of beef jerky by this point, I reckon. And we're and not making carpet. fun, we're just speculating. Yeah, we're just speculating. But the carpet, can you imagine? Sorry. Can you imagine what the carpet would look like? Can you imagine what it would smell like? Would- <laughs> Did she think See, about any of this before she died? The inconsiderate carpet? Yeah, what a fucking bitch. Oh. I mean- <laughs> <laughs> and we're not making fun. No, we're not making fun, but... I just want to know, like, what would be the condition? After eight years, would all the flesh and stuff just disappear, or what? Uh, well, you t- you do get sort of skeletal. Um, <laughs> I assume so, yes. Gruesome topic of discussion. <clears throat> well, we're discussing, to eh? something a bit something a bit more lighthearted, I just got a reply on a comment from one of your videos. Um, oh. Somebody, okay. Somebody's talking about Scarlet Pommers from Star Trek. The little girl who grew up very, very nice. I said, uh, oh, I said, um, I said the, she grew uh, up nice. Band. She could certainly do the coke off Seven's ass now, and I'd film it and watch it repeatedly. And somebody res- re- responds to me, Zabonka, yeah, she did. She is freaking stacked now. <laughs> she is, actually. <laughs> what does that mean, stacked? i got to admit, I, I'm... She's stacked. She's fully... She's off the chain. Fully loaded? I don't get lingo she's, these days. <laughs> she's bring, she's, no, no, she's bringing the heat. See, I'd like to think I'm not, you know, an old man or anything. Because no. I'm obviously not. I'm 21 years old, but I don't get anything that young people say now. I'm trying to keep up I with, don't the, get any... with the lingo, but um, it's mostly the broken like, I... language that my nephews bring up from Mandura that I really don't get. I suppose, because, I mean, I don't get any exposure to that kind of young people anyway, because I go to an old people job. Everyone at the job is older than me except for one person. <laughs> I mean, I do feel like an... And I don't get that much, like... You know technology? Yeah. That yeah. thing that we use? Yeah. Technology only recently with David Kalesa. I only recently looked at Twitter and thought, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll have a Twitter. <laughs> or maybe I'll do a Twitter for this. And I still don't get it, really. Well, like, there's nothing the to appeal? get. I don't know. Twitter's a very simple thing, isn't it? Yeah. You just... What, you, I want, you tweet. what I want an invite to is that Google Plus thing, because apparently it's a lot better than Facebook. <laughs> no, From okay. what I've heard, it's doing everything that Facebook does, but better and more conveniently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that to consider. But f- <clears throat> yeah. the thing about Facebook is I have a bunch of so-called friends on there that don't really talk to me very much. and I So-called. <laughs> I don't even Big know on. where I was going to go with this. It's just, I mean, I... I don't really want to want to use Facebook. I don't want to talk to that many people on there. It's just there in case anybody's got something to tell me because it's convenient. I mean, yeah. And I, not to be antisocial, but I've actually stopped encouraging our viewers to friend me on there because you are more likely to hear from me if you just email me. Yeah, that's like, true. Like I, I never leave an email unanswered from anybody because I'm a compulsive email answerer. 
Um, you get but, all the emails. I don't get any emails. But with Facebook, Actually, I do. <laughs> but with Facebook, I'm like, oh fuck, 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 another note. Fuck. I, I I get angry with it. I I delete people. I just get bored with it. So yeah, one thing so, that yeah. one thing that would uh, I worry about with Google Plus is that I go on Google to look stuff up and to check my email. Mm. And if there's a whole social network there, I, I feel like it might get in the way if I don't really want to use it. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Like, I only... <clears throat> if you look at search results right now, see, I'll, I'll go to Google and look up uh, butts. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll come up with uh, very innocent <clears throat> stuff. There's yeah. this plus one button next to everything. I think that's something to do with Google Plus. But oh I, no! Like every link has a little plus one and a little no. magnifying glass, nah. and it, it's getting very cluttered. It's getting a bit cluttered. Yeah, I just I like Google for searching and for checking my email and the rest of it. I like that. What was that wave thing that they tried to launch and that fa- failed miserably? Google Wave. Uh, I mean, yeah, Google Wave. Yeah, well, it was just, basically a dumbed down Google Plus. I, I kind of hope this Plus thing fails because I just don't need it. I don't want it. Scotty. The thing. <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of want it to be better than Facebook. Why? Because I, I don't like Facebook that much at the moment. I have a bit of fun with it, but I mean, I. You know. I mean, I like the movie, but. Uh, <laughs> you didn't watch that it, movie, did you? <laughs> Yeah, I did watch the movie. It was all right. Oh, was it? Jesse Eisenberg uh, plays a good uh, Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> he didn't take me to see that film. He plays a good himself. Well, I didn't go to the cinema. Was January Jones in that film? Uh, yeah, she played uh, Emma Frost. She's a pretty good actress. <laughs> she is an excellent actress. She. Uh... <laughs> no, I watched X-Men First Class, and she, she was... <laughs> She was basically Betty Draper, but without any backstory. And Betty Draper is basically so, January Jones with a, with period closing. And with a backstory. <laughs> with something behind Bail. her to make her slightly interesting. <laughs> and, you know, so you can pay attention to her a little bit and you'll be slightly entertained <laughs> by her. But Emma Frost, I have no idea what she's doing there. I, I don't know why her surname is Frost and she turns into diamonds and she's telepathic. That makes no sense. She's just there to take her clothes off. And I, for one, applaud that. I mean, not, not her specifically. She didn't but take her clothes off. No, but I mean, there's photos of her with her clothes off. So, I mean, you know, it's... Oh, where? No, not Did all of her clothes off. God. January. January Jones. <laughs> January Jones. <laughs> clothes off. I only, I only just got up to that bit of Mad Men where uh, they break up. Images. You're a whore. Oh. You will get a nickel. Yeah, there's nothing with her clothes off. Okay. You had anything you could ever want, and you loved it. Wake up. Actually, she was in, she was in underwear in a, a bit of uh, first class. First class. First class. But executive, I couldn't get past class. the fact that she was a terrible character and a terrible actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't D- know. There is one thing. I want to talk about first class, actually. Oh, all right. <laughs> now, that now that we're on the subject. Dave Kalesa's first class review. He tells us what he thinks of the film. Um, I think it was trying a bit too hard to connect with the... Are you laughing? Uh, yeah, sorry. Stop laughing. This is serious. Yeah, right. I'm like Roger yeah. Ebert, but with... Uh... Oh, no, my jaw fell off. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I was being Roger Ebert. Just tell us about okay. the film. <laughs> <laughs> it was being it was trying a bit too hard to kind of connect the dots with the older films. <laughs> you know when you know when reboots do that, like with Star Trek, they did that all the time. Well, actually, they didn't do it all the time, but they no, no. Oh no, and, they did it with like. And when they did know, when do it, they got it the, wrong. Like Admiral Archer's prize Beagle. It's like yeah, fuck. Admiral Archer's prize Beagle. Oh, they referenced Star Trek. They referenced the or worst. He sits down on the transport and he says, "Oh." All I got left is my bones, and <laughs> his name's Bones. Even though that's, that's funny, already has an explanation. That's it already different. has an explanation, and it's different. Yeah, so yeah. that's exact. That's a very good example of what First Class is like. I don't know that much about the comics or anything, or the backstory of any of the characters, hmm. but I just assume that they're wrong in this <laughs> comic because in this film because hmm. they just seem wrong and ridiculous, even ridiculous for comics. All the characters have no allegiance to each other. They just, you know, on a whim, they just go to the other side and they, you know, they run away and mm. shit like that. And then there's these scenes that just try too hard to connect it. 
Mm. Like, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to spoil it because... <laughs> David's getting worked I mean, up. What? You should know that Xavier get you know is disabled. So... <laughs> I'm going to spoil it for you now. Spoiler alert. Somebody shoots at Magneto. At Magneto. <laughs> and he deflects the bullets away with his hand. He's like, oh. kind of like Darth Vader does. Yeah, yeah. But they, they don't actually hit his hand. He just deflects them. And he deflects one right into Xavier's ass. Ooh. <laughs> He's standing behind, kind of standing behind him. Not his ass, like his lower back, his spine. Wow. So he just goes, bing, and Xavier goes, ah, and he falls to the ground. He, I feel like I've watched the cut. film. So. Yeah, well, I might as well just act out the entire film for you, because yeah, I'll yeah. do it better. And he clutches his lower back. I'm doing, uh, like, I'm acting it out as well, but you can't see it. <laughs> but I'm doing a very good job. Okay. And he falls to the ground, and then he's on the ground, and, he, and, he's, dis- and you know, he's holding his back, and then he goes, I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. Does he look at the camera while he does it? He's looking straight ahead, kind of like, you know, it's so cold. (laughs) (laughs) I'm never going to see my young girl grow up. That kind of acting. Oh, man. And he says, I can't feel my legs four times. And we get it. You know, you're disabled. And the next scene is in a wheelchair. You're making me very glad that I did not see this film. I mean, I like, it was all right. (laughs) <laughs> he was telling me how shit it is and then like, well it was alright Yeah, I think it's alright, it's just some of the things in it were just trying too hard to connect to certain other things and you know how they do that in prequel movies yeah I do like in Star Trek or in uh, uh, probably The Hobbit <laughs> that's probably going to happen probably The Hobbit, The Hobbit's going to be so bad half of it's going to be in slow motion uh, so yeah, Martin, Freeman's, Martin Freeman's going to go Mithrail, no I, I don't know uh, Actually, an, that would work because uh, got an email from a friend here. I won't read the whole thing because uh, you know it's a private message. But uh, it's an interesting request. Would you possibly have the patience to explain a few things about astronomy? Hmm. Um, would you have the patience? Well, uh, try me. What's something you just don't tell know? her to listen what's, to this podcast? What's something you don't know about? Uh, <laughs> well, I've got to practice. What's something you don't know about space, David? I'll try and fill you in. Ask me a question. Any um, question? Go on. Why is Pluto no longer a planet? Ah, well. Here. With Scotty's Astronomy Special. Um. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, give me a second. Uh, I'm just going to close the You can look up on Wikipedia no, no, first. Uh, <laughs> I, the, you can't hear me typing. I'm not typing. Now, the thing about planets is they've. it's like they wanted to form a definition using the word planet. So it's actually describing something that exists a planet is so it's, it's got to have qualities such as um i think that there's a size limit now there's it has to have cleared its own orbit of other objects um yep uh i don't think i remember the other ones but for some reason pluto's behind the cutoff because there's there's objects out there that are bigger than pluto um that aren't planets or more massive well 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 that they didn't want to make them planets because they're, we're they're realizing there's actually more of them out there than there really should be still i think pluto counts as a planet i mean it's got its own orbit there's nobody else sorry i, I don't want to bore people i'm just trying to make sure i <laughs> i mean it, this happened in 2007 i was in school i was a rebel and so i had a very strong opinion on this topic <laughs> was it 2007 or 2006 i think it was 2006 okay anyway all the toy and shops then still had solar system things you could hang up with nine planets. I wanted to buy one, but uh, sorry. Wouldn't you hate that? <laughs> As a toy developer, wouldn't wouldn't you hate? You just made a solar system like. <laughs> what did they do with all the Plutos? They just ma- mail them off to the minor yeah, planet just rip workshop. This shit. <laughs> Open up the box, rip the Pluto <laughs> out, and put it back in. No, you just developed this giant, you know, solar system diorama. <laughs> And it's got this whole orbiting kind of thing, and it's really cool. And then two days later, oh, Pluto's not a planet anymore. <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, in 2006, I was in year 11, mm, uh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> and I was doing... Just, just making sure. <laughs> and I was doing the election campaign for my friends going into the student council. <laughs> because... We were both in digital media. You know him, but yeah. I'm not going to bore Pascal? people with the name. 
No. Oh. Matt. Oh, Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Matt, 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 yeah. Matt, Matt. And so we were in digital media and we were throwing ideas off each other. And one of the ideas of a, of a poster was Pluto can't be a planet, but Matthew surname can be your student council leader. And I had... I wish I had these f- posters because they were really good. <laughs> Wasn't Ming I did about, on one of them? <laughs> yes, Ming was on one of them. And did, did, there was a did, monkey mag- magic poster. And uh, Did your campaign actually work? No. <laughs> he didn't get voted in. That's rather horrendous. Oh, fuck. They were very good posters and they were the best posters. I don't even know if anyone else did posters. Man. I was you- very proud of that campaign. I wish I still had them. Maybe... Maybe he has them. Hmm. You'd hope so. I'll ask him. I'll ask him later. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast typing on the Amazon. <laughs> but yeah, X Men First Class. What a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna play with a bit more Garage Band in it just for a sec. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Anyway, I wanted you to finish that. John Williams. Uh, but I haven't got enough keys. Bum, 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 bum. That's good enough, I suppose. Sports. Oh, hang on. There's nothing I really want to talk about sports, is there? Um. <laughs> oh, a uh, good one was uh, that our prime... Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll have to find the news article. Distract <laughs> people with uh, garage band noises for a bit. <laughs> David is searching on Google. What's he searching for? I'm hacking into the... Uh, Database. He's searching for porn. David's world of porn. He's looking up Jerry Ryan and her big tits. Let's get this podcast out of the gutter, David. You better be bringing us a pretty good story. Okay, um... <laughs> is it ready? <laughs> I'm yep. dying. Yes, it is. <laughs> dying no, it is ready. Okay, good. Kevin Rudd, the Australian Prime Minister. We- we're doing a lot of Australian stories. I guess our news... It's just oh, going to well, be Australian news. Next time we can do an international section, you know. Tell okay, we'll stop. Because we get all our news from news.com.au. Yeah, well, next time we'll do it from CNN or something. Okay, go. CNN. Kevin oh. Rudd blames jet lag for congratulating the Bronx on state of origin win. <laughs> now, the, the main problem here is that the Bronx didn't win. It was the other team. <laughs> yeah. Or it was a different team entirely. I, I can't remember... Hang on, I've got the. Uh, I thought article. the I thought the main problem with the story was that he hadn't actually gone on a plane or something. He hasn't been on a plane in a while. <laughs> That's and- how, <laughs> hell of a jet lag. Where did he go? Fucking Mars. Fucking <laughs> oh, help me. Yeah, the thing is, Mr. Wright has been in Canberra all week after returning from a three-day official visit to Burma on Sunday. <laughs> Burma's not even that far away. It's gonna be like one one time zone away from Canberra. Burma's three and a half hours behind Australia. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> now, I get that you can, you know, accidentally tweet the wrong winners of the game. Yeah, because yeah. you know, I mean, I wouldn't do that because I would research the the results first. <laughs> Any normal person would research the results first if you didn't know who won. <laughs> we weren't exactly sure who won. Isn't that like when but, um, Kim Beasley <laughs> extended his apologies to the wrong person when Belinda Emmett died or some shit? Well, did he did he extend it to Andrew Denton or <laughs> No, I can't remember. He, he flubbed some some name like Rove. He got Rove's name wrong or something like that. Like Rave he, McManus. Is there somebody, uh, some other person called Rove that he extended his uh, sympathies to? Oh, that's funny. And you know, Belinda and it was it. Um, he, he probably hadn't had his breakfast yet. Kevin Rudd. No, no, Kim Beasley. Oh. <laughs> you know that man It's not firing at all cylinders Unless he had a full turkey oh. Ten pigs oh. <laughs> Three virgins oh. That was anyway. Kim Beasley yep. Kim That was Beasley. Kim Beasley he, Restaurant he's, a big fat, he's a big fat politician from Western Australia <laughs> Is he from Western Australia? I don't know, I don't care uh, He was, he was, yeah Anyway <laughs> Yeah Kevin Rudd said that they won, and then he said, well, the, the tweet was, mighty win by the Bronx, Lockyer should be given an order of Queensland, K. Rudd. I don't even think that exists, I think he's making a joke. I hope so. But later on, later on he says, confessions of a jet-lagged foreign minister, a little too excited about the Queensland win, hence the mistweet. And, 
I think it would have been better if he just said, oh, sorry, I know nothing about the sport. Let's just forget it. <laughs> that was a mistake. I should have researched it first. I don't care about rugby. He Goodbye. should have just said he was kidding. Somebody said, the Order of Queensland should be uh, saved for real heroes like firefighters and policemen. And then somebody le- else said later on, it's not actually real. It's a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> After this guy got really serious about it, he was like, oh, people, people are ripping the run. But I mean, that's no more stupid than a lot of the shit that normal people do. I mean, fuck. It's not very stupid at all. The only stupid thing is that he blamed it on jet lag. Yeah, that's the that's and the even then, community. and even then, who gives two fucks? <laughs> it's fucking what, rugby, is it rugby? Uh, I, I don't even rugby. know what sport he's talking about. I think it's tennis. Oh, I was watching uh, Wimbledon the other night because I was uh, what was I doing? I was stalling Wimbledon. on asking Dad for a lift to the airport, and um, <laughs> you don't want to stall on that. You, I you, saw uh, Rafael Nadal yeah. playing against somebody else. And I th- I just think the overriding thought during that game was, what is wrong with this man's face? What's wrong with his face? I'm going to have to look it up now. I am no prize pig, but look up Rafael Nadal and just, you know, get the vague impression that he's distantly related to some sort of wood-eating animal. I'm looking it up. He doesn't look that weird. Oh, you need to see him playing Rafael Nadal. He looks like a weird sort of wood-eating creature. He does. Oh, this picture makes him look like a. This picture makes him look like a wood-eating creature because he's eating a tennis racket. Or, you know. know. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, uh, no, he looks normal. I I suppose I'd have to see him in action. You have to see him in action. He just looks like he's a a giant rat of some description. I I, I don't know. I mean, I know I'm not. I'm no. (laughs) I'm no prize pig myself, but fuck. He does have a bit of a squishy face, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of like a. I want them to bring back okay. real men to the game, like John McEnroe. Yeah, people who uh, you know, swear at the umpire at every given opportunity. <laughs> yeah. you're, a, you're the worst umpire I've ever <laughs> Answer the question! The question, jerk! <laughs> you can't top that. It's very good. And that was. It's, uh... And you go on any YouTube video concerning tennis and you say, fuck this guy, he's shit. Bring back McEnroe, and they, they get all serious with you, like, McEnroe. Bad temper. He didn't. McEnroe was sick. shit. He, he didn't have respect for the game. It's like, fuck off. It's tennis. No one really gives two shits about it. This this guy was hilarious. He brings a crowd. Yeah, just hit the ball, win the game. Thirty love. I don't know what that you means. <laughs> Sorry. That was very echoey. <laughs> yeah, that was the idea. That, that was the ghost of John McEnroe. <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> He's back from the grave and he's going to haunt your soul. David John McEnroe hasn't died yet. Are you sure? When was the last time he checked? He was talking about tennis the other day. It was on the news. Giggle, Google dot com. I can't even type because I've got this microphone in front of me. He does look a bit of John McEnroe. That's not how you spell his name. (laughs) Isn't it? I didn't spell it right. John Um, McEnroe. He looks like a goblin now. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> if you look on his if you look on his Wikipedia, he looks like a goblin. He does not look like a goblin. Actually, he looks he looks like he's turning into Smeagol and he's got the ring around his neck. Somebody who looks like a bit the of a goblin. Turning is, him uh, into Smeagol. Ronnie James Dio looks like a bit of a goblin. No, you should look at Go I'm on not, John McEnroe. I'm not, no, I'm not, I refused, I'm not, I, I'm actually quite quitting MSN right now, so you can't, no, <laughs> <laughs> God, I just sent it to you. No, it's okay, I'll, I'll look, I'll look. <laughs> he's got the ring around his neck and he's like, you know, he, he wants, he wants it. <laughs> oh, I'm just, God. I'm shutting Safari now, I have no comment on this picture. What an, what an old man. <laughs> <laughs> look at how old when, that man when, is. Uh, what are we talking know, about? The best things we've, we've ever done to Wikipedia, just a bit of a tangent here, is uh, replacing pictures. And I'm pretty... Uh, what, what was the first one you did was putting Yoko Ono on the... No, no, you put the Emperor on Yoko Ono's Wikipedia. Yeah, Emperor Palpatine's picture <laughs> on Yoko Ono's page. I don't know how long that stayed up. Probably not very long. And the other one you did was um, p- putting a Photoshop puppet of Sean Connery on the Sean Connery page. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sean... Me and Scotty have this Photoshop puppet that we use sometimes. <laughs> well, we made it years ago. Where you've got the different layers and you move the layers around and he kind of mm. opens and closes his mouth and he moves his mm. eyes around. 
and yeah. we made a heap of backdrops for him because we're it was, it was more of like stupid. a paper doll, paper doll thing, really. You know, you kind of a paper doll thing, except manly. Yeah. yeah. And we put him in a spacesuit and put him on the the uh, Sean Connery page. <laughs> I think he was in the spacesuit. No, it was the sailor suit. I took a photo. Oh, the sailor suit. Okay. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you get the the bitchy message in response to it? Um, oh. <laughs> if you ever pull a crazy, on... if you ever pull a stunt like that again, you will be blocked from editing. No vandalizing Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that was on Wikipedia itself or through my email. Uh, that might have been through my email. Actually, I think I took a screenshot of it. It was actually on. Wikipedia. It was on Wikipedia? Oh, damn it. Or maybe you sent me the screenshot. Wikipedia. I Wikipedia. I'll just look it up. David searching through his email to find the picture. Hackers. The wiki... This guy rivals Torvalds. What? <laughs> Apparently I sent you a picture. Oh, <laughs> I just want to see what this is. Somebody who rivals Torvalds. Hmm. Linus Torvalds. Oh, yeah, you did. It was Trey Parker. Oh, no, 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 is this guy? It was somebody else here. Yeah. Right. No, I don't want to This look is a pretty up. good picture. I'm this seen, is a pretty good picture. I've seen it. He, he looks like a Viking. Um, oh. I'm not going to keep talking about that, though, because nobody knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's, anyway. I can't figure out why my friend wants me to teach her about astronomy. Hang on a minute. Not much. No. Just, it could be interesting for a project next semester. Okay, never mind. All right. Well, I mean, I, I think I'm pretty well prepped. I, I know I, I know a bit about astronomy. You know the much, test. Not as much as Brian <laughs> May, but... Um, <laughs> Brian you sent, May. Me, <laughs> you sent me a screen cap of the dildos pic, uh, page on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even do anything to it. You just sent me the page. <laughs> well, <laughs> unedited. It's pretty fucking hilarious. Because there's a picture on the right side. It's probably still there for anyone listening who wants to look it up. <laughs> It just says dildos, and there's two dildos there. <laughs> yeah. Can you blame me? I, I needed somebody else to see that and verify its weirdness so just that I wasn't... Dildos! <laughs> dildos! Well, well, if you don't know what a dildo is and you want to look it up, that's, uh... You know? I think it was understandable. Uh, yeah, Brian, it's, a, it's a funny picture. Brian May, David, have you seen his blog lately? I don't read his blog. Lately. Or anytime. Anytime now. Have you, have you ever seen his blog? Never. Never. No, I have, but uh, at, what at are you the talking moment, about? As of writing, he's, he's, got, he's published this speech that he made to a group of assembled astronauts or scientists or people or whoever talking about space. And the speech space was called... Spaceman first class. I'm not reading the speech right now. I'm just talking about referencing it from my brain. It was, I think it was called, is, uh, what, are we, what are we bringing into space? Or is this what we will bring into space or some shit? And he starts out talking like a concerned citizen, talking about things that are worrying him and uh, talking about space travel and humans and going into space. And gradually he ends up talking about fucking badgers. Yeah, you told me a bit about uh, Brian May's badger kind well, of Over the past obsession. few years, this man has spent so much time complaining about fucking badgers. Uh, not complaining, kind of... Supporting well, badges. Well, supporting the badges, yeah. When he really should be kicking them in the face. It's like... You know, Who doesn't Brian, kick a badger in the face? Why don't you complain about the fucking famine in Africa or something? Yeah, nobody but, cares about badges. Badges um, aren't even... Brian May... Uh, yeah, go on. I mean, the thing is, I love Brian May. He's great, really. He's fantastic. But it just seems to me like a really weird cause to latch onto. Yeah, so Brian May, for anyone who doesn't know who he is, is the guitarist from Queen... Yeah. If you don't know what Queen is, just look it up. Or just die. Because I'm not going to explain it. Or, <laughs> no, or just no, die. no, just, yeah, just go fuck away. you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... Just, um... Yeah. And Scotty plays him in a Queen <sighs> tribute band. <laughs> Why are you fucking telling people this? Oh, uh, because you... I'm sure you've told people about it before. <laughs> uh, yeah, sparingly. Um, only if they're, music <laughs> if they're musicians... Every opportunity, you can't. If they're musicians or if they're a fellow Queen fan, I might bring it up. Otherwise, I, I don't I don't have a card, you know. I don't put it on my my resume that says I put on a wig and pretend to be Brian May. <laughs> I'm not pretending. That's the thing. I'm not really not pretending to be Brian May. I don't play that much like him. I don't look like him. 
I'm not a very accurate impersonator. I just like Queen music, which is why you I- just play the songs with the wig on. And yeah, yeah. you do- yeah. You told me you were doing windmills on stage. I didn't do windmills. Brian I did- May- no, 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 no. I never windmilled. I jumped. I thought you did. No, no, you, no. you were talking about windmilling, like you were going to. <laughs> yeah, well, but you did jump around, and Brian I did May jump I don't think ever lifted his feet off the ground. He just sort of stands there and pouts and looks cool. <laughs> yeah, and he kind of gets down slightly on one knee and and solos and then and none of that shit that i do i just play my guitar and i have this stupid smile on my face because <laughs> i enjoy playing music like oh, do you? Yeah, yeah well you know i'm brian may <coughs> <coughs> brian uh, may giant me. squid well you know fuck david's in a I band don't have too. A cough switch there i said it I'm in a band. <laughs> you're, you're in the same band, so you can't <laughs> criticise me for being in that band. I'm not criticising you. I'm just... I'm just I'm, no. We're in a band. You people. Fair always. enough. Um, Melba. <laughs> yeah, if we ever take breaks... I think if we ever take breaks in the uh, podcast, like, oh, shit, something's happening. i got to take a break. And we stop recording, like, halfway through, and then we start recording again. That's what we should put play? A little bit of music in... What? Oh, no, no, you mean like a Melma song? Yeah, just some interlude music. <laughs> it's the only music we're I don't know if we want to put a full <laughs> Melma song. Yeah, we, oh, unless yeah, we want to use classical it, music. It's a good time to uh, bring this up. Are we going to respect copyright with this podcast? Or are we just going to fuck it? Um, <laughs> mm, I mean, that's Apple's, a good question, Scotty. As far as I know, Apple stuff is royalty free. I mean, you know, if I, if I press this button, we can't get sued, I think. Not for that. I think no. you can't even get sued if you use more, like, less than seven seconds of a song. Is that it? You're the music <laughs> person. Uh, I know some of those Some of those are actually bullshit, but I think seven seconds might be all right. I don't know. I, I haven't looked it up in a while. Oh, okay. The thing is, I actually um, really don't care. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. If we get... Like, if they say, oh, you can't put that episode up, you, you played bloody uh, Prince music in the episode... Fuck. Because <laughs> we'd obviously do that. Um, I suppose we'd just take it down or replace the music. I don't know. Yeah. Because we can't just say, no, we're going to leave it up, because then we would we would get sued, and I yeah. don't have any money to get sued. You have... No, never mind. I don't even care. This no, I, a, I don't, I don't want to get sued. This is, um, a dis- this is a discussion for later, I think. <laughs> well, yes. High dollar pushes relative cost of living in Australian cities up world rankings. Oh, is this the stock market? Uh, David, stock market exchange. No, no, it's not stock market. David tells you what your money is worth. Isn't it? Oh. Sorry. It's not stock market. <laughs> Fuck. It's just, it's just dollar in general. <laughs> I'm going to look up the stock market. Well... Here's the interesting thing. The rise in the Australian dollar means that we now have four of the 15 most expensive cities in the world to live in. I heard that, but, like... And Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, and Brisbane are the ones. I just don't see it, though. I mean, Sydney's so much more expensive. Except in one shop, there was uh, a vending machine where you could buy uh, cans of drink for $1.20. Are you talking about just normal, like... I bought solo. Goods prices, or are you talking about rent prices? Because I'm talking about rent prices. Well, isn't it all the same? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. The financial news. ANZ anyway. Bank is down by eight cents. Sorry. Australian cities are really expensive to live in because our dollar is more is worth more than, like, the US dollar at the moment. Oh. And, yeah, well, that's, that's I, the I, way I it can should agree be. with that. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I don't know. No, but we should and try again. Why are we paying so much for rent though? Uh, it's ridiculous. You don't pay rent, this is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? No, well landlords <laughs> well, are do. basic basically dickheads anyway. But I thought there was this thing going on where we had people who don't even live in the country who are buying up places and well maybe not renting them out, but um just buying them like an investment, which I think is totally wrong. Uh, I, I think if you don't live in a country, you shouldn't be able to buy more than, like, one house there, maybe, or some shit. Are people buying more than one house? Well, I think there's people who live overseas who are just buying land willy-nilly. I don't know. I, I heard this vaguely once. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now, because I actually don't know. But yeah, You don't, don't know anything about what you're saying? Basically, yeah, I have no idea. So how far are you in Mad Men? Uh, I'm up, 
I'm up to the second episode of the fourth season. I I started watching that when you were here, but I, I got interrupted, so I have to watch it again. How come you never watch it when I'm not there? I do. I, I actually was doing a good job of watching it, but then I had to go to Sydney. This could mean 30 years of business. Mm. Hotels, okay. concerts, sports. I don't know. Usually, usually that's a sign that you don't actually like it that much. But I know hey. that you like it, so it's kind of no, confusing. I'm just lazy. You're just lazy. Okay. No, I'm not lazy. I'm doing other things. Sometimes I... I'm doing something else. Not much, though. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes no. I'm doing other things, but no, not really. I, ha- I have a hard time explaining this to people, but, like, like Nancy bought me a Clockwork Orange for, for my birthday, right? There's a DVD. And yes. I, it was, like, almost a year before I watched it. There was no reason. Well, you've I seen thought, it before. No, no, no. She, I hadn't seen it before she bought it. Oh. And I just, oh. I just never really felt like watching. And then one night, I felt like watching. I sat down, I watched it, and I bloody enjoyed it. I'm just, I don't you, like being you rushed. Enjoyed the shit things. out of that. Oh yeah, well, I like to watch things at my own pace, at a medium pace, David. I was about to sing it, but I can't remember the first line. Put your arms around, me, around baby. me, baby. See, I need you so. Uh, something, something, yeah. to do. Hold me close against your I'm skin. I'm about to begin. Loving you. Yeah. Loving you. You see that shampoo bottle there now? Stick it up my ass. <laughs> Push it in and out at a medium pace. <laughs> well, my favorite part is <clears throat> pretend I'm the pizza delivery guy and watch me whack off. My watch me whack off. That's um, actually a really good song. It's proof Sorry. that Adam Sandler can be funny. <laughs> so, well, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I don't know what happened to him, but yeah. Um, yeah. Christopher Walken. I don't. I don't ever think he was really that funny, to be honest. I never saw anything where he was especially funny. Yeah, but that song is proof. I know. I know those films are classic, like yeah, Billy well, Madison. Maybe, everyone loves that. But I maybe really my mind it. is in the gutter. I, I, I know, that song's not that funny, but I think yeah. No, anyway, that was a funny song. What were you saying about Christopher Walken? Oh, Christopher Walken will play Zeus in a TV comedy. Please take that back. I never heard that. No, no, no. Uh, I'm fine. It's going to be like, I'm it's be like fucking I Zena, this, isn't it? No, no, no. Dave. It's a comedy. It's a comedy. David, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> Walken. Uh, well, hang on. Christopher Walken as uh, Zeus. <laughs> Zeus. As uh, Zeus. That's what I don't like about Facebook. Apparently, it's going to be called "God's Behaving Badly." Uh, um, I think I think you like this. I think I you're you, going to enjoy this. Did I tell you about the um, the sitcom I wanted to do? Well, uh, was that uh, <laughs> no? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, you're going to tell me I'm totally fucking idiot. Um, I had I, I remember it, you telling me about a film that you wanted to do, but I'm not going to tell anyone because then they'll steal the idea. It's okay. They're going to steal this idea too. I wanted to do a, a sitcom about um, an old. <laughs> Go on, Scotty. <laughs> I can't say. It. You can tell me. Okay, okay. It's just you know, us an here. old whaling captain. You know, I want the, the the misadventures of the whaling captain, and I was going to call it Ten Things I Hate About Moby Dick" or some shit. I was going to use Dad's ship room upstairs. <laughs> Ten things I hate. See, I thought you actually meant a <laughs> real series. No, I did. I, well, like I, it, was, it was at that time where I wanted us to do like an episode of a series and then move on to something else. And then if if a series like worked out well, then we'd keep making them. Otherwise, they'd just be a one-off. And that was one of, the, one of the ones I wanted to do. Like, celebrity seances and all that. And, uh... I think yeah. we, should, we should still do that one, though. I don't feel very good having mentioned the, uh... Captain Ahab one now, to be honest. <laughs> um... <laughs> it's one of those early morning I just ideas. I just don't get the, the, uh... What would happen? <laughs> it's a sitcom, but he's in his ship cabin. He's a captain. <laughs> I don't know! See, it... In the, before you get out of bed, you have tall, these ideas... Wacky, Hey? Does his tall, wacky first mate come in and everyone claps and go, <laughs> oh, look, it's Captain, it's a first mate Kramer or something. You're not that one. <laughs> um, no? Oh, uh, no, no, I'm making a Seinfeld joke. Well, you would have been in it. Oh, Seinfeld joke, huh? Um, yeah, it was a Seinfeld joke. Like, you're Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. And I guess I'm Kramer. Oh, it probably should be the other way around. Hey, Captain Ahab! I'm more, of a, I'm more of a Jew than you. <laughs> Hey, Captain Ahab, you captured any whales today? 
Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's a bit closer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to find the right octave. Did you hear about Fox News' Twitter being hacked? Uh, yeah, and Obama getting... <laughs> Um, that's pretty funny, yeah. <laughs> that, that's pretty hilarious. Is that close? <laughs> uh, I think that last one was off. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, they, they tweeted about six times about his death, <laughs> and it took about eight hours for them to be taken down. <laughs> Why would you take that long? Why would you announce Obama's death? I've been trying to convince people for years that Eddie Murphy is as dead as his career is, but nobody will listen. Well, that wouldn't go through Fox News. Oh, actually, it might Yeah, that's, that's news. I think, no, I think it's a political... Eddie Murphy is the most important black man in the world, ever. Even more than Martin about, Luther King. What about Tiger Woods? Uh, he's not black. Uh, what he's about... More like, he's more like Vanilla, even. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Let's just say he doesn't have Barack the best Barack Obama interest. has just he passed. Just, the president he, is dead. <laughs> a sad 4th of July indeed. President Barack Obama is dead. <laughs> Tiger Woods doesn't have the best interests of his uh, race at heart. Put it that way. He's a bad example. He's a terrible example. Golf, come on, and the yeah, whole, and that, the sex thing and the cheating and all that. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, come who on, golf. Plays golf. Fuck, man. Paul come plays on. Golf. Most come white people on. don't want to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you play something cool like basketball or croquet? He has got a good taste in food, though. I mean, like the club sandwich. Does he? What are you talking about? <laughs> His texts. <laughs> No turkey unless it's a club sandwich. I mean, you can't you can't fault him there. Oh, oh, his text to his uh, illegitimate <laughs> girlfriend. No turkey unless it's a club sandwich. I like celebrity scandals. For a short time, Charlie Sheen kind of got out of control. They're, mm. they're putting a roast on for Charlie Sheen, actually. No. Soon. Why? I don't know. They're a bit late on it, aren't they? Are they? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the time yes, they are. Like- no, no I, I know they're late on it. Oh, okay. This should have been done like three months ago. <laughs> then why are we talking about it? Well, I'm it's sorry, news continue. that it's happening. <laughs> it's news that it's happening. It's, I'm okay. not saying that it... <laughs> this happened three months ago and now I'm talking about it. <laughs> hey, did you know that Charlie Sheen is doing all these crazy things? <laughs> How he tried to host his own web show. <laughs> that was in February or March? Oh, uh, Yeah, didn't he have some sort of internet show that didn't work very well? Yeah, he had an internet show for... Uh, Three episodes, maybe even two episodes, and it was well, such a resounding failure that he just stopped after that. Do you think that could happen to us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we, we should make this a standing appointment every Thursday night. It wouldn't be that resounding a failure, I don't think, because we're not well, sitting here chanting. Uh, it's like oh, what, what are they chanting? It's like the channel. It's like the YouTube channel. I mean, that's at no, at no point has that been a rousing success, but. It's the fun enough a diversion for us to keep doing it anyway. I mean, it's just yeah. How, that's how I feel anyway. We're not sitting here chanting, winning, 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 like they were on that show. That's what they were doing. He did that? Yeah. He had a whole room full of people just chanting, winning. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like they're trying to resurrect somebody whose name was winning. <laughs> He's forming a seance. There's a circle of people holding candles and shit. <laughs> winning. That's just the vague, um, the vague feeling I get from your description. <clears throat> speaking of Charlie Sheen's antics, hmm. Star Trek just went up on uh, Netflix. All of the series. Do you All know what Netflix s- is? <laughs> uh, it's that thing where you rent stuff or some shit? Yeah, that thing that we don't have. <laughs> oh, all the series except for Deep Space Nine. That was the point that I was going to make. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought there was something Sorry. missing. I saw that announcement and I thought something was like missing. I was looking at the names Sorry. of the series. And That's the only reason I brought it up and then I skipped right over it. If I yeah, read, all the series except for Deep Space Nine. 
if I want to rent Deep Space Nine, I can just get stuffed. But I can watch Enterprise if I want to. I mean, ugh. you can watch Enterprise. You can watch Voyager. You can watch oh. the Next Generation. Oh. You can watch the original series. Yeah, cool. Hey, yeah, yeah. I know. I need to do that. Deep but Space, no, Deep Space Nine. I I've ragged on Deep Space Nine for many years now, but it's actually a way better show than I remember. It and is a good show. See, and you I can't think rent it. Di- and you can't rent it. No, I do have it all. That's horrendous. So I should probably bring it around to you if you really want to watch it all. But you you said you downloaded all the uh, you got all the episodes that you wanted to watch. <laughs> I downloaded ones that I remember. It's, Seeming good or that they were good or whatever. I mean, it doesn't mean I. So you're going to miss all the good episodes then? Yeah, well, all the other it. good episodes. <laughs> bring it to me. Um, yeah, I don't see any reason why this would be so. Why, why this would happen? Anyway, did uh, Avery Brooks not sign off? <laughs> I don't want people to rent my show. Or did uh, Rene Aubergeois not want the show to be on Netflix? I don't think we should be on Netflix. Please stop this. <laughs> or did Nana Visitor decide that she didn't want her face on the Netflix menu? Ah, Nerese. <laughs> no, that's not her. That's somebody that's else. That's the guy talking to her. You're impersonating somebody else. Oh, I I'll regret a lot of what event. I did. <laughs> no, no, I'll do it. All right. Hey, my people, Bajorans. You don't know what it was like. <laughs> the Bajoran people suffered so much. <laughs> Uh, I got but the Cardassians. In the pilot yeah. episode, she she just just the pilot uh, episode is never good. You just want to slap her. I still do, really. <sighs> uh, the pilot episodes are never good because they just over they make the characters so much worse than they really are. And- I'm just uh, looking through my safari. I gotta say, trekmovie.com. I'm not really that happy with it. Why? Because whenever I post a funny comment on a story, they delete it. <laughs> um, <laughs> what a, funny comments are you making? I used to make far worse ones than this, but I was like, I um, there's a, a long interview with one of the producers or writers. I think his name's Damon Lindelof or some shit. And I said, and, and, and the, the thing was that in nowhere in the interview, like two two hours forty minutes. Did he mention anything, any news about the sequel that's coming, right? Which you think would be the main source of news for this site. You want to hear stuff about the new movie? He doesn't say anything about the new movie. And they described the interview as epic. And I said, this interview sounds about as epic as being stuck in a car with Denise Crosby while she's strung out on lithium or something like that. I, you know, worse to that effect. Mm, yep. I thought that was hilarious. And they deleted it. It wasn't, bastards. A, it wasn't abusive. It didn't swear. <laughs> and I think the idea of Denise Crosby being on lithium is fucking great. And they, you know, got rid of it. Did, did you see her on Mad Men? She was obviously high on something. Probably horse penis. Because she was is handling she really, horses. Is she really on Mad Men? Did you not notice her? I think I might have seen some episode with it. I probably blocked it from my mind. Fuck! She was in a for- few different episodes. I got to that point <laughs> and I couldn't not notice it. <laughs> you want you want something good? She no, she gone. leaves TNG, right? Obviously, yep. it feels like her career is taking off, and she doesn't have to be stuck on Star Trek forever. Leaves TNG, realizes it was a mistake, spends the rest of TNG trying to get back into it. Keeps showing up just when you succeeded don't want it about to be two there. times, ruining good episodes with her fucking presence, yep. and then. Showing up in like, uh, when would she show up next? Um, was she in Enterprise or? Um, she might have been in Enterprise. She might have been in an episode of Enterprise. I can't remember. <laughs> but no, get this though. I was watching a fan film. Um, yeah, Blood and Fire, I think it was called, and she was in that. Just when you think yeah. you've gotten as far away as possible from this self-satisfied old bat. She shows well, up. <laughs> I'm not trying to be abusive or anything, but seriously. I don't care about Tasha Yar. I never have. She was no, a shit I wasn't going to defend her. That's fine. I wasn't going to defend her for being a bitch. I was going to say that, uh, like, TOS actors have been in a lot of uh, fan films as well, haven't they? You know, that, you know that feeling you get when you leave high That's school and, yeah, and you on. think of some annoying person and, you, and you're happy because you've left high school and you'll never have to deal with them again? I know exactly what you're talking about. Go on. And then it's some unexpected avenue in later life. They show up or something reminds you of them or whatever. 
That's how I feel so, about seeing Den- Denise Crosby in anything that isn't first season Star Trek. Exactly. It's That's like exactly just, how I felt when I saw her in Mad Men. You're watching. I, you thought, think, I am enjoying. <laughs> I am two seasons, two and a half seasons into the show, and suddenly Denise Crosby is there. Why are you here, bitch? <laughs> it's like, just like leave. Stop you're acting. business here. I'm enjoying this show. Fuck off. You ruined, you ruined TNG for me because you were a useless character and you were in the way of Worf for an entire <laughs> season. Worf didn't do anything for an entire season because you were standing there. And then, so yeah, that's, that's she comes that into I'm, Mad Men. I'm sure she's a lovely person. You know. I yeah, she's fine. I I have nothing I have nothing against her <laughs> but as a yeah. person. I don't know. But get out of the get the fuck out of my shows. That's the you know, that's just how I feel about this cross me. Um how yeah. many TOS actors were in bloody bad uh, fucking Well that's fan that films? makes that makes sense though, because I mean Well actually no, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't that one TOS that that one fan film series didn't they have like a TOS they, actor in every single episode? They've actually had people from the show. I think in every episode, the first one they had a couple of meaningless sort of supporting ca- uh, actors. Um, then the second like, episode, uh, they got the girl who was a really hot woman in Mirror Mirror. Of course, she's like fucking eighty now, so you can imagine how, what a bit of a boner kill that was. Um, and then then they got Chekhov, and then they got Solu. Um, and then they, they've got lower key people as well, like Solo's daughter from Generations or whatever. Uh, does remember. that even count? I can't believe I know all this. Well, no, I mean, that, was, that was a nice touch. I mean, at least they tried. You know who they should get? <laughs> oh, fuck. Jonathan Scarlet Palmer's. I would... I would... <sighs> I would Shake watch, her hand. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> I would watch films with her in them. He said, has she what? been in, I don't know she if she's been in any been, film? No, I, she I stopped so. in 2002. She, i got to say, she grew up nice. She was acting from 1995 to 2002. And now what? What does she do now? She's doing music now. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, I told you about that. Star Trek actors doing music. I can't believe Shatner gets all the fucking stick for doing music when there are people like Brent Spiner and um, Tim Russ. You know what I really want to get? <laughs> AIDS. <laughs> Uh, um, no. Uh, Brent Spiner's CD. His, Dreamland. Uh, Dreamland. Welcome to Dreamland. I'm Brent Spiner. It's, it's hard. That to didn't pick. sound anything like Brent Spiner. It's hard to pick Sorry. the worst album by a, by a track actor, but I think the honor at the moment, from what I've heard, would have to go to Nichelle Nichols. I would say so. Out I heard world. her. Um, I heard her cover of the Star Trek theme song <laughs> on uh, an episode of The Morning Stream, which is a, a, another podcast I listen to. Yeah. And she put all these lyrics on it, like, Star no, 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 Trek, no, no, we're going to She space. didn't write those right. lyrics. What, the story behind that is that Gene Roddenberry wrote the lyrics so that he would get money every time the, the Star Trek theme was paid. It's so he could get songwriting royalties, even though the lyrics were never going to be used. And they were oh, completely what? amusical. They just didn't fit the, the timing or anything. What a and greedy the, little... And Person. it actually pissed off Alexander Courage to the extent that he didn't do a whole lot more work for them after that, I don't think, at all. Well, you wouldn't, would you? Well, yeah, it was just Jen Roddenberry's way of ensuring he got some money out of it, because, I mean, there was no there was no guarantee that Star Trek was going to go anywhere, really, I mean. Yeah, I guess. But it was a bit of a fucking... <laughs> but, you know, you... I, I won't say a bit of a greedy, uh... He's yeah. a greedy person. <laughs> I'm going to say person. He's a greedy person. <laughs> He's a greedy person. He just cares about money, David. He just wants all the money from the royalties for the song. <laughs> you can't get around just not getting the royalties. That's anyway, that would be wrong. Michelle Nichols. Anyway. I, mean, I don't think she's a, like an incapable singer as such, but her, I've, I did a video once where I listened to all the snippets from her album, like the samples from Amazon.com. Oh, yeah? yeah. Pretty horrendous stuff. I'm sure it is. I haven't listened to it, but that one song <laughs> that I heard was pretty terrible, even though she didn't write the lyrics. It was just... Uh, uh, I feel pretty mean, actually. I mean, like, you know, it's not like we're putting... I mean, you know, Nichelle Nichols can stand up and say, I've done an album or two. Well, I've, I've never done that, so I probably shouldn't be so mean to her. Well, <laughs> big news. <laughs> I'm going to announce it here. Big news for Barry Dunn and Twelve. 
we're not putting out an album. <laughs> I wanted to um, yes. cover Whispering Jack. The Whispering Farnham, Jack? John, John Farnham album. But I wanted to do it like in whispers and call it Whispering Hack. <laughs> I, I reckon 12 people might get that. <laughs> <laughs> like get the joke. I think. What do you mean? Nobody. <laughs> it's pretty fucking obvious. Whispering. I mean, it, I know that you've explained it to me, but I don't think anyone. Is that a popular album? Uh, Whispering Jack David is like the most, well, uh, the most highly selling Australian album of all time. His name's John, though. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> so many of my good <laughs> ideas are shot down by David. But his name's John. <laughs> Oh, you idiot, Scotty. His name is John. <laughs> no, I, I don't think you. I, I think it's a great idea. I'll do. I'll just do you all the voice and see how that goes. Keep the pressure see, down. <laughs> to put stuff on i to put an album on iTunes. I've been thinking mm. about it because we do have a band. Well, and we yeah, do have sort of songs. Band. Yeah, and if we wanted to release an album on the internet, we'd probably want to do it on iTunes because that's a thing that people use. Tully's done that, I think. I uh, don't know actually. I don't know if he's going to hear this or not, but maybe he can fill me in. I think, as far as I know, it costs a bit of money to put stuff up there as well. Yeah, well, I wouldn't do and it, and then they take a lot of money as well. I wouldn't do it unless we actually had people that were going to buy it. Obviously. <laughs> at, at, at this point, why would I charge money for the music? I mean, fuck. I suppose <laughs> it's like, all up on the MySpace, isn't it? On the on, on the MySpace? <laughs> Every time I remember there's a MySpace and I go look at it, it's like getting worse and worse. It's like they just they want it to die. Every update makes it less functional and more hard to use. And it's like, fuck me. I saw a news article today saying that Twitter is now more used in Australia than Facebook. I mean, sorry, not Facebook. Uh, MySpace. Yeah, yeah, I saw that article, and I, my first thought was, didn't that happen as soon as Twitter was invented? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, uh, who's using been, MySpace? It must have been a fucking while ago. I, I don't get who's using MySpace. Right. And the, the numbers on MySpace were about 750,000, and the numbers on Twitter were a million. Oh, and that well. shocks me as well, because aren't more than a million people in Australia using Twitter? You'd we have 22 so. million people here. I thought we had like 19 million. I thought it was 22. <laughs> going to hit up Wikipedia. Who's going to get it first? Ooh. Did it? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, type in. Oh, my Google took a while to open up. Oh, Australia. Australia. Population. Oh, I know. I spelled Australia wrong. 21 million. Oh. Oh. Well, okay. I'm, I win in that regard. <laughs> you were closer than me, I guess. <laughs> Didn't I say 22? I, I said 22 like, million. I thought we were still at like 19 million or some shit. No. I'm a child of the 90s when it was 18 million. The population is approximately 22.6 <laughs> million. I said 22 million, didn't I? Who fucking cares, man? Uh, not me. <laughs> it's like, there's more people in one South American city than there is in Australia, I think. One North American city. And they're, they're really happy about it, too. Yeah, we are so we are so happy to have a big population. We have so many people in our city. It is dwarfing Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty's I can't think of anything to say. Mexican impersonations. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, well, uh, how long have we we've been talking for, David? <laughs> we've been talking for one hour and 47 minutes. <laughs> is that what you wanted? <laughs> That's an impressive... I'm surprised we were talking this long without big pauses of us going, um, shit. Well, there was a couple of dull moments. No, I mean, this, really? this is our first podcast. I think we can, they can cut us some slack. I don't to be honest, I don't even think we have to edit this. I don't want it's to. It's just no, no. a normal conversation. I really wouldn't want and to we're edit just, it. We're just chilling. We're just talking. Minimal editing unless like a bomb goes off, I reckon. And <laughs> I'm not trying to make this like the Red Bar Radio Show. Oh, I don't want to like you simulate don't the Red Bar Radio else's show. podcast. The moment you no, no, mention no, no, it, no, 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 no. I'm getting on semantics here, David. But the moment you mention okay. something else, that is a comparison. You know, and so I'm not, it, that sets I, no, up. I'm just, com- I'm just comparing the length because <laughs> they usually go for two hours, and I like two hours for a podcast <laughs> where people are just talking. You reckon it's a, it's a good length? Yeah. <laughs> who's who's going to listen to us talk for two hours? I mean, I thought it was going to be like a 15 minute thing or something. 15 minutes? <laughs> well, they're not going to listen to us. <laughs> We can't talk for any... We can't, we can't fit a conversation into 15 minutes, Scotty. 
Let's talk about the what jingle. We, we don't have a jingle yet, but by the time people hear this, there'll be a jingle on the front. So, uh, what do you want to... Stop, stop calling it a jingle. <laughs> a jingle. Barry, don't no, don't call, it jingle. A, don't call it a jingle. It makes What's it sound it? lame. What's we're not like lame, we're cool. We're cool. No. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I've now all I can think of is a jingle. It's not going to be a jingle. It's a, a sting. No, uh, intro. Musical, what do you call it? It's just an intro music. I think it's a great idea. We should have outro music as well. <laughs> All right. Music to take us out to, yeah, yeah. We just do it at the same time. We could cover uh, What a Wonderful World. <laughs> we could. What a wonderful world. Yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba do, that's not it. Uh, yeah, like doesn't Louis Armstrong Rainbow. didn't Louis Armstrong play uh, Fred Flintstone in that film? I thought Louis Armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon. Oh no, that was uh, John Goodman was the first man to walk on the moon, <laughs> and and Neil Armstrong was the guy who played Fred Flintstone. Oh, God, man, so it's stupid. so easy to get these things mixed up. It is, yeah. It's tough being. You I know, like John Goodman. Did attempting you? to be some sort of. Um, not a pub, not a public figure, but to to put your voice out there because you know everything you say could be wrong, and you you don't really know till afterwards, and it gets very embarrassing. It gets very embarrassing, you know. Come down, yeah, selector. Not- <laughs> oh, fuck. Yo, drop that track. <laughs> yo, yo, drop yo, that yo. track. Yo, listen, it's going hey, down just like this. Excuse me, Mister. I feel like Please playing. Place that track on the floor. I feel like I'm playing San Andreas. Rolling on dubs. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you rolled on dubs, Scotty? Well, it's been a long time, but we're going to dub another movie, David. I haven't told you this, or uh, oh, we're going to be we're going to be dubbing. We? Uh, well, what do you want to? I'm going to give you a choice, David. What do you want to dub? Deep Impact or Wing Commander Three? D- did you say Deep Impact? Yeah, that. <laughs> we're going to do both of them. So, which one are you going to do first? <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, Deep Impact. Oh, okay. You know what we should do? Yep. Ah. Uh, if we're dubbing the film at the same... If we're doing a dub of the film, we shouldn't do this, but what we should do sometimes if we if we want to shake it up a bit is just pick a film and then talk about it for the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, we watch a film yeah, yeah. and then just t- discuss it for the entire podcast. Yep. It could be a theme show. Yeah, and if we run out of film. time... If we run out of time, we can just talk about something else. I mean, like, if we... If we if, <laughs> Not if we run out of time. What was it gonna, you know, you know what I mean. If we if run we, out of topic, if it doesn't wind up being as long as we want it to be, we just talk about something else. Yeah, I tweeted during the show that we're doing right now <laughs> that uh, we're recording a podcast right now, <laughs> one hour thirty minutes in. <laughs> Nobody has said anything yet. Damn our followers! <laughs> Damn you guys! We'll, we'll Is announce, this thing on? <laughs> we'll, announce, we'll announce it on the channel. Um, all right, of course film, we will. We'll make what a film? video. We'll put the link there. And what, what oh, film? What? No, no, we're not. What? We'll talk about. We'll talk about Indiana Jones Four. I think. <laughs> Is that the film you really want to talk about? Yeah, sure. I suppose it's better if it's a bad film. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> we should go watch. Um... Yeah, but you, you haven't watched the Social again. Network. Judy Garland. Hmm? You haven't watched the Social Network. You should do that. Yeah, it's actually a personal best. I'm going to see if I can beat it by continuing to not watch it. Uh, it's... I won't say it's an amazing film, but it's, it's pretty <laughs> oh good. Oh, my God. 22,000. I don't really like Facebook that much at the moment, though, because as soon as Google Plus came out... We're back on Google Plus again. As soon yeah, as yeah. Google Plus came out, Facebook did like put video chat on their... I don't know how it works because I haven't found anything on the on Facebook that lets me do video chat. But you they know, put you, video chat on the site. Um, going back to, I'm not I'm not much of a prize pig, but a man is is there something wrong with Mark Zuckerberg's face? Um, every I picture think, of him. Let me look him up. I, can't oh. I, mean, I know what he looks like, but I just have to make sure. He just looks. He just oh, he looks like Jesse Eisenberg. That's the thing, he doesn't even look like the guy that played him. Is it supposed to be loosely based on him, or... Is he it looks a- more like... Hmm? Um, <laughs> fucking Justin Timberlake looks more like, Je- uh, looks more like Mark Zuckerberg than <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg does. And he was there playing the guy who started up uh, Napster. 
Ugh. Napster. I remember, uh, I remember anyway. Napster. It was actually really handy being able to just download songs like that willy nilly. I don't really remember it because uh, <laughs> I well, never used it. It was no, it was unreal because we had a, we could get just get all these songs. It was cool. Being around it's more of a line wire guy. Ninety nine. <laughs> We look, we, we uh, what's, like, wrong, hmm? what's wrong with his face? Um, he has no soul in his eyes. He just, oh, he just, he looks slimy. It, his <laughs> eyes are black pits of death, and um, he just looks like he's been. I don't like the way he smiles. He kind of like, it's a very fake smile. Like he's been crawling through the bushes, and he's any second, you know, he's gonna jump you or something. It's like he doesn't actually know how to smile and they taught him how to smile and, and now he's trying but he's not really it, working. It he's reminds not really me doing of it right. Formula One driver uh, what's his name? Sebastian Vettel. He just looks like he's got, he's going through a really good period in his life. He's got a lot of good money and he's really quite pleased with himself but you know that if shit goes wrong he'll go <laughs> like that. I didn't say he has no soul because he's a redhead by the way. I know that's a thing that people say, but um, David, I just said he has no soul because I'm his, here to his tell eyes you, are black. I am here to tell you right now, gingers do not have souls. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, no, they're not black. They're like grey. No, that's no better, is it? <laughs> I actually think that's bullshit. I think rangers, I mean, I've met a few. They're, they're, they're not bad, really. I, I, I've quite liked the few rangers that I've met. No, one of them was a bit... Anyway. <laughs> One of them married my sister. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> pasting something into your MSN, David. You should uh, click on it. Uh, what see, is it. See what I mean? This is somebody who's pretty happy. Sebastian Vettel. Oh, what the fuck is when, wrong with when, him? When shit goes wrong, you, you, the tears... How old is he? Let your tears flow. Well, he's old enough We're to We're looking at car. Sebastian Vettel at the moment. V-E-T-T-E-L. He looks like he's 12 years old. No, he, he is actually old enough to drive a car. Oh, and wow. he drives he drives cars for a living. He's like a limo driver or something. Really? No. He wears a suit and everything? <laughs> Bonjour. Did the no, sleeves go way past German. his hands or what? <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour, uh, Gutenberg. <laughs> I didn't mean bonjour. Oh, it's all the same language. He's speaking it's, European. Yeah. All right, David, do you want to call this thing, or you think we've talked for long oh, enough? Man, to this guy is ugly as shit. There's <laughs> a picture on page six. <laughs> no, I'm not looking down that far. That's not really that far. It's the thing with the new Google Images. Oh, is you can like... scroll down six pages, and you don't even notice. All right, we're talking about ugly people now, are we? New topic? I was ready to stop talking, but... Uh, and it's just... We'll finish on ugly people, I reckon. I'm, I kind of like the new just, Google just Images. Just pasting this into David's uh, MSN... I won't, say who it, I won't say who it is, but um, I just did a Google, want, Google image search for... Do you want me to say who you it can, is? You can tell them. You can tell them. Clive Owen. Clive he's Owen. Got a bit of, he's got a bit of a face on him. <laughs> bit of, he certainly has a he, face he, on him. I'm going to send you another one. Daniel Craig. Now, Clive Owen and Daniel Craig are these two guys that some certain women I've spoken to on the internet seem to get dewy-eyed over. I happen to think they're both really weird-looking. Daniel, uh, tell me how. Uh, tell me how old you think Daniel Craig is. He looks like the Mad Magazine guy. Has anybody else it, but... noticed this? Is it that fucking impossible for people to look at? Hang on a minute. That's Alfred I've noticed Newman. it now. Looks I've like noticed Mad it Mag now. Mad Magazine guy with muscles. I mean, it doesn't just Scotty, doesn't bother Scott... women that... <laughs> and gay yeah, men. How old? How old do you think he is? Forty-three. Well, I'm guessing that was fuck. closer than I thought because I thought he was much older, but he's about forty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I was being generous. Uh, good guess. <laughs> he looks more like forty-five. <laughs> but that um, was uh, pointless. Uh, yeah. I just sent you one. Oh, what did you send me? What, what's what joy have you got? What have I got? Is this Scarlet Pommers? I can't wait. No. Owen Wilson, David. You see his nose? <laughs> like we're not. We're, we're not in a position to mock somebody's nose, though. Oh, yeah, we have very <laughs> stupid noses, but, I mean, his is just... <laughs> it's like you put it to, through a mincing machine. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've had this bruise on my nose for about a week now. I think it's finally gone. <laughs> but that when you, is that when you I'll hit your face? I'll tell everyone how I got it. I was putting my base on over my head, the strap over my head, and then I, 
I must have lifted it up at my face for some reason, and it hit my nose, like the bony bit of my nose, on David. the kind of pointy edge of my base. David plays a hockey base. Oh, bass. my God. And it's not that heavy, but I hit it with enough force. That it's a light guitar. It and looked he like I had a... He took his nose out. You should you should have seen like this, this blow to the It looked like of... I had a pimple for Blister. an entire week. <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> then, you know, but nobody asked me about it as well, so they just assumed I had like a giant goiter on my nose or something. What's a people, goiter? I mean, <laughs> I don't people, know what a goiter. people in this family are not the ones that really want things on their noses because they attract enough attention already. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay, it's getting to uh, fifty-nine minutes, so 59 I think we can nine <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I think we can safely end it around about here. Oh, you said another wanna, one. Do, do you want to aim for exactly two hours? I think we can no, do no, that. No, 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 not really. Oh, why the fuck I did you send that. me that, David? I don't want... He just sent me Scarlet Pommers on the... <laughs> There's kid pictures in there as well. Oh, no. Oh, that's what I really hate about, <laughs> about actresses who started out as kids. Okay, anyway, so I don't want to end it on two hours. Oh, and we don't really have that much more to talk about, really. <laughs> I think we've fucking used it all up. <laughs> so, um, I don't know where this is going to go up. Probably... At first, it's probably going to be on a uh, upload, one of those random upload sites like Mega somebody, Upload. Somebody said Mediafire was good for uh, shit. Mediafire, whatever. Put it on both. Uh, not on iTunes yet, because we just want to see if people actually enjoy hearing us. Because I don't, don't want to waste. I don't want to waste money on actual hosting until we know we're doing something people might actually enjoy. I think it'll be a um, while yet. I think, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's nice to try it anyway. <laughs> Make it a freebie for a good long while. I mean, it would be free anyway, but you know what I mean. Oh, it's going to be free forever, probably. F- I mean, free for us, you know. <laughs> free for us. Yes, <laughs> obviously. Spending money on some shit. No, I don't have money to <laughs> fucking host podcasts, do I? <laughs> Neither do I. Okay, so on that note. Uh, on that note. What's the date today? today? I should have said the date at the start. Thursday. Thursday, the 7th, 7th of, July. of July. We Ringo started Star's at 9 o'clock. Birthday. And it's now 11 birthday o'clock. Today? Is it Ringo's birthday today? Oh, he, his birthday's in July. I'm going to look it up. Ringo Starr. Born 7th of July, 1940. Yay, Ringo! We didn't even talk about him. Happy birthday, Ringo. Happy um, fan mail. Go, Ringo! And try again. I, that wasn't a good noise to play. <laughs> One second, you just talk. I'll just find a good noise to play. Um... We didn't talk about him much, but I suppose now's the time to talk about him. Good job, Ringo Starr, for being... We, did, uh, we didn't talk about him at all, not, not, not much. Se- 71 years old. Yeah, we talked about him a little bit. Congratulations, Ringo! Oh, it's not playing. Hang on a minute. Congratulations, Ringo! Oh, that's not the right <laughs> it's, but it's called applause on laughter. Hang on, wait a minute. No, there's no laughter there. Yeah, hey, Ringo! Well done, Ringo! John Lennon is smiling bro. upon you from heaven. Hey? I said John Lennon is smiling upon you from heaven. <laughs> because he is. Because they were friends. <laughs> the ghost of John Lennon visited him in his sleep and said, Hey, oh, Ringo. Hey, Ringo. Good job being 71 years old. Hey, Ringo. I wish I was still alive and you were up here. Why don't you make a good fucking album? <laughs> what was that fucking Liverpool song? Wasn't that the same song that you released a few decades ago? <laughs> Last few years. It started with a Get song called Lady Da. And then it went on to a song called Never Without You or something. And which I actually kinda liked. But anyway. I did like that song, yeah. And then it goes on to um Liverpool. Liverpool I left you. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I think and, uh, uh Cavemen was your best film. <laughs> That's the only film of his you've seen, isn't it? Um, what? I don't... Cave- have I even seen that? I don't know. It's got Dennis Quaid in it, and you should watch it immediately. I know, yeah. I only... <laughs> it, that's only on my mind because I was listening to another podcast who was... It's don't, not bad. They were talking about it, but... What? People take the piss out of Ringo, but he really got the best wife out of all the Beatles, I think. Oh, obviously, yeah. Have you seen She her, has two legs. Seen her tits? Oh. <laughs> she has two legs! And she's not... <laughs> A crotchety old Asian, and she's uh, <laughs> and she's not whatever George Harrison's was. What was George Harrison's wife? She wasn't a crotchety old Asian. I'll say that. Was much. she blind? 
Was no, she her? was actually a pretty nice girl. She saved his life. Uh, he was busy. He was busy getting stabbed and saying Hare Krishna to try and stop this guy from stabbing him. And she picked up this heavy lamp and beat the guy over the head with it. That'll work. Like that. Man, that's Harry the kind of wife. This. I gotta say, that's the kind of wife you want. Yeah, somebody who'll pick up a heavy lamp and uh, just uh, and, s- and save your ass from from death. Beat a guy over the head with it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh. We're Ringo gonna... Starr, 71 years old. Congratulations, Ringo. You've outlived two of your friends. I'm going to send you fan mail. <laughs> what happens when he mail. does get sent oh, fan mail? What, what happens when it does get sent to him? I guess he... I think he still reads it. I think it was just a ploy to get more of it. Oh, oh, yeah. my, first, my first thought when he said no more fan mail was to write him a letter saying, please keep reading fan mail. We love you. you know. Please, don't shut this off. <laughs> <laughs> I know this looks like fan mail. What a rock and roll all night and party every day. Should write a song for him. Happy birthday, Ringo. Will, will you still need me? Will you still feed me? No, when no. I'm 71. It's boom, not boom. as catchy, is it? No. It, I wish <laughs> I was 71. Not stuck in some ashtray in Yoko's, ha- Yoko's house. God. <laughs> so terrible being bones. Well, my son, Julian. It's turned into some hipster moron. <laughs> Does he wear Actually, the hat? Yeah, he has the glasses and the beard uh. too. I just don't understand the definition of hipster because um, I've looked, I've been looking it up lately owing to an argument that Tina and Nancy had, and it seems a pretty vague definition that's sort of thrown around at any remotely privileged white person. Um, like it's a very specific kind of thing. I look at the definition of hipster, right? On most whenever it comes up, I look it up. Well, what what is a hipster? You know? I'm going to look up the definition. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, please do because a lot of the stuff I see is pretty fucking average. I mean, you can be taken to There are very extreme <laughs> hipsters. Well, like yeah, hi- but- people who wear um, I guess Converse is <laughs> I mean, that's the one thing I think of when I think of hipsters, besides beards and grubby clothing and glasses. Oh, I, I think of the... Like, and the, a, like a beanie or a, a beret. When you watch the Garage Band tutorial videos, I think... Oh, every sort of person with a Mac in Mac videos. Because <laughs> they they're like they live in a loft. In a, a yeah, anyone who lives there. in a loft. <laughs> Um, uh, let's have a I look. Hipster Any, compet- anybody who uses sub-culture. Instagram? <laughs> yeah, uh, I know of a lot of people who use Instagram on the internet. I, think, I don't think I they're think hipsters, it's a- but it's a very hipster kind of thing to do. Well, I th- if you do it seriously, maybe. But I mean, I think it's just a, you know, just an effect. I mean, you know, if you just mucking around, it can't hurt. Um, the Urban Dictionary definition okay. is probably. <laughs> Might be wrong, but this, this this looks right. Hipsters are a subculture of men and women. You could just say people. <laughs> yeah. Typically in their 20s and 30s that value independent thinking, counterculture, progressive politics, and appreciation of art and indie rock, creativity, <laughs> intelligence, and witty banter. Um, oh, that's us. <laughs> that's us. No, but, but that's... I'm not... but, but... Uh... I don't My know. I think, I think it's a bit. I think it's a bit vague, to be honest. That's very vague, but that it's really an extreme kind of people who argue about politics and no, no, that's still vague. no. That's that's just too fucking vague. I mean, you know, that's just somebody who argues about politics is just somebody who cares about what happens in the world. That doesn't make you a hipster, does it? I, the one thing that I think of that describes a hipster is somebody who thinks knowing something before somebody else is cool. Like, it's cool. <laughs> That's you know just I mean? a wanker. We've had a word for that for generations. No, but... Di- dickhead or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, yeah fuck with. Yeah. Cunt bag. <laughs> bag of bones. <laughs> bag of bones. Natalie Jean Wood, she was a wanker. She, yeah, she was a hipster. She, um, she was playing <laughs> Twister and she thought... She said to her friends, Look, I've been playing this game long before you guys. I'm going to go upstairs and listen to my iPod. And, no, no, uh, she, no, she had a Zoom. Oh, she had a Zoom, sorry. <laughs> and she was going to take a photo and, and put it up on Instagram. And uh... <laughs> iPods and iPhones used to be hipster, and now they're not. Now Android's a hipster. And <laughs> See, I've just, I, I just don't even want to think about it anymore, because it's such a vague... It is it very vague. It just seems to me a term you apply to somebody you're not happy with. 
Oh, you, you, you hipster. Because there's nothing else you can really point out that's wrong with them. Um, hang on. Hipsters reject the culturally ignorant. So, bleh. hipsters reject the culturally ignorant attitudes of mainstream consumers and are often been been seen. <laughs> don't know how this is written. Wearing vintage and thrift store inspired fashions, tight fitting jeans, old school sneakers, and sometimes thick rimmed glasses. That's more accurate. That's getting that's narrowing it down a bit by the way they dress. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. You know, just those old cool. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. That's that's a, yeah. Clothes, androgynous hair, messy shag cuts. Oh, psh, well, that's me. I don't <laughs> even want to think about. It. I don't even want to think about this anymore. Belts <laughs> with no, studs. No, stop. On them. I just feel like one of them is sitting on my face right now. I've got, I've got a hipster on my face. That's how I feel. I have a story about a hipster, but I've told you about it before. I was going to, I was about to say it now, but I think we should stop. I think I'll save it for next podcast. <laughs> yeah, next next time. Yeah, a story about. Tune in next time for the Barry Dunn Twelve podcast for a story about a hipster. Yeah, at a Tim off, Minchin yeah. concert. I, hang on, didn't I talk about this on the YouTube video? I don't know. Next time, next time. I never. probably did. I'm going to tell it again. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay. We will stop talking about hipsters. <laughs> next, next time. Okay. Cue okay. the ending jingle that we're going to make up next no, time. No, 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 no. We'll say goodbye. What? Oh, goodbye. okay. We'll cut that bit out. Three, two, what? one. No, no, we're not cutting anything out. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. And if you have any feedback, <laughs> if you have any feedback about this podcast, you can email me at. Yeah, email me. Email me at shoeburger. Dot co- dot <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I've been talking too long. My mouth is not working anymore. Shoeburger at gmail.com. That's shoeburger. It's that. like. That's that's like a a bun with a uh, with a converse in it. It's like your Skype censored you. Roasted nicely. I'm talking. You can't hear it. I'm recording myself. That's fine. Okay. You, okay. you bite into the converse burger and it's it it tastes like. Would you just leather? <laughs> or you can or you can tweet us at underscore bd12 oh my God, on Twitter. We have a Twitter. Uh, we do have a Twitter that's quite hipster. Anyway, thanks for taking care of that for me, by the way. Yeah. Thank you guys for Take listening. If you are still me. listening, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you're not. And um, <laughs> goodbye. Farewell. Goodbye. Is that, where the, is that where the jingle goes? That's where the jingle goes. Yeah.